No. I'm about to say Beyonce steal from us a lot. Yeah, we're gonna talk about it. All our bounce songs, she's stealing, and we don't even get the credit for it. So here's and then what she do. come now, and, and I ain't mad at her, but I'm saying she come down here, and then when she do Coachella, she got the whole Louisiana outfit and coming out on Do What right. You Wanna. That's it is a topic that you can do what you wanna, and mm -hmm. what pissed me off about my people in New Orleans, if Legendary Miss T do the songs, y'all ain't gonna promote it. Because this bitch did it, y'all gonna promote it. That is weird. It's fucked up. That's weird. I got the same type of music. Mm. But they be, oh, Beyonce. You heard me? Yeah, that's crazy. It's the same music. I've been doing bounce for 30 years and good at it. Yeah. All right. All right. Beyonce yeah. got, you, okay, listen, y'all, yeah. Beyonce got a song called Church Girls. And she be saying, I know someone can let a fucking little. All in my songs, I be rapping like that. I sing rap. Yeah. If you don't trick, all the niggas are douses. They trying to run a game. He always creeping. The shit is a shame. You in love with this nigga because you had a child. It don't mean nothing because he still act fuck wild. He talking that shit about he don't love them hoes. Come That's on, my style. Damn. If you don't it's trick, don't fuck him. Just take his money and go. If you don't trick, don't fuck him. Just take, take his, his money, money and go. go. Look. Oh, Niggas, yeah, yeah. Yeah. they come and they get shy. Yeah. Better watch your back before they motherfucking split the news. Yeah, yeah. They come and they get you. That was BG, Chopper City. Facts. Nick, wait, hold on. So, is it? it <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. Niggas and witches, <laughs> half dead as it is. Half dead as it is. Hey, that's me. Yeah, oh, man. Yeah, yeah. This is, this is... I know y'all heard that. Yeah, no. Hey, be honest, you got some law. You got to get some lawyers involved. For those that don't know, we have the legendary, 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 legendary Miss really T, legendary. Uh, the Cash Money Princess. Yes. No, no, no. The Cash Money Queen. Queen. What? Yeah. My daughter. Yeah, let's will, get it right. Look, no, my money. daughter will be the princess. Oh, there. You, boom. There you go. Nicki Minaj already queen, but she was she young money. I was the first girl of Cash Money. Man, let's talk, man. This, me. this is amazing. First and foremost, I was there when Wayne. Um, he was thirteen years old, and we were sneaking him in the clubs. People don't know that. Man, no, no, we about to we, hey, we about to talk about it. I know. We about to talk about it. Uh man, let's do it like this because first and foremost, <laughs> thank you for coming well, and girl, blessing girl, us girl. with your presence, blessing with your story. Uh today is a is more of a mournful day, really, because don't start. I'm the saints. Uh, <laughs> and you know I'm not going we could talk bad about them. <laughs> you ain't. We listen, I ain't the Cowboys that. have ah. the highest. Brrr. And y'all came, yeah, came in there, y'all chopper seated us down. I don't know what's going on. Oh, you saw that, huh? Yeah, who that say they gonna beat them saints? Who that? <laughs> who that? Who that say they gonna beat them saints? Come on, the Cowboys who that? <laughs> don't play. The Cowboys don't saying, play. Boy. God. Don't play. Um, first and foremost, how was, uh, before we get to the history, how was coming to the city uh, the hype around the Saints versus New Orleans and Dallas. Oh was man, it was home open. It, it was dope. Like the city was lit because we already knew it was gonna beat y'all ass. Damn. God, see, I can't even. Okay, we ain't about to do this today. Oh, we knew it was gonna beat y'all ass. <laughs> we was lit. <laughs> Shit. That's why we had all the parties. We took over y'all motherfucking city and did a second line. Yeah, it, it, it was a takeover. It wasn't New Orleans takeover. We made we made that street like Claybone. We got South Claybone when we had a second line. Oh uh, yeah, nah. <laughs> we be by Carmen Ruffin. Yeah, second line. Look. <laughs> Then turn to the free monster. Thought I will call you, man. I, my city bad. Now nah, let's my do it like city this. bad. The world loves New Orleans. Yeah. Um. Lately, it seems, and we're gonna talk about your cover story, but it seems like there's been a lot of disrespect coming from. Oh the, yeah, man, the, and I hate it, and and I feel like even with the Super Bowl thing with Lil Wayne, I ain't like that shit because he a goat and he paved the way for a lot of people. And for you motherfuckers to be saying he on drugs. And he said, bitch, all the motherfucking rock stars was on drugs. Yeah. Michael Jackson was on drugs, bitch. Yeah. Prince was on drugs. Thanks. So now y'all talking about he on drugs? 
Stop playing with my little brother, bitch. Yeah. And he deserved that term. If them motherfuckers could do that shit for LA, right. they could have made accommodations for us. I don't want to hear that shit. Yeah. That's why I felt like it was political, because they could have gave him that. He a goat. I don't give a fuck about no Kendrick. Come on now. Kendrick has not do did what Luang has done. And they know that. I'm lying. Hey, How many records yeah, Kendrick yeah. sold? No. Hey, no. Did, they, Kendrick, did Kendrick change the culture with the Hot Boys? It, when they talk about goats, they're rapping. Did, did Kendrick do the mixtape era? Come on. Come on. I ain't taking away from the nigga, but y'all ain't about to do Wayne that, baby. He's history. Mm. I could talk, I don't even talk bad about him. So I respect him. Mm. But I ain't about to let y'all do it. I don't know y'all. Mm. I ain't turk. I ain't about to go on no nigga council be telling my people shit out. I ain't doing that. I'm a real bitch. I'm solid. I don't do that. You hear me? Could I ask you, when Wayne gave his response and he said he was hurt, like he didn't know what to say. It took him a few days to respond. Yep. He was literally hurt. Yeah, I like the vulnerability though, because that could show that a man could have um, emotions. He's, he, he's mature now. He understand. It, it made him go, well, damn, what I did. And he had to reflect. Mm. But let me tell you what's, what's so dope. And I'm glad that everybody band together in New Orleans and was having all the positive posts and stuff. He said that helped him. Yeah. And it did. I could tell Wayne is a good person. Thanks. Just because a person go through what they go through or what kind of habit over there, I don't even know. Y'all just running with shit and y'all don't know. That's why I don't like the media sometimes. I feel like a lot of them need to fact check shit and they don't. They just run with shit. Let me give you an example. Please. I had a, 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 a guy named Pimp Daddy. I, I was signed to Pimp Daddy with Cash Money. When Cash Money first signed me with Pimp Daddy, they liked my singing voice. And he also sung, right? So all they kept saying was I was pregnant for, never touch this nigga. You heard me? But, and he wound up dying. But what I didn't like that murder dog did, which I want to sue them, saying that there was in a three-year a three uh, year relationship between Miss T, a chick named Cheeky Black, and Pimp Daddy, and Miss T, brother, killed Pimp Daddy. Oh. Why would y'all do that, bitch? Why would y'all don't, y'all don't know not, nobody in New Orleans y'all could call and fact check. So now you putting a murder on my brother, bitch. Mm-hmm. Why would you do it? I hate the media, dog. Mm-hmm. I don't like the, I mean, Podcast, a dude called me from London and was like, we need, I got you 130. I said, bitch, I could give you 250. I don't know, 135 for my story. My story is valuable and these motherfuckers gonna respect it. So wait, they had you in a three, it was you, Cheeky Black, and who? It was uh, Cheeky Black. What, what it was, Cheeky, what I said again? It, it said they had you in a relationship with you, Cheeky Black, and one other. All right, Pimp Daddy. Daddy. It was all three of y'all. Uh, uh. But they were saying Cheeky Black had the relationship with him. Oh, okay. I didn't. By me and Cheeky Black beefing, back in the day, we had diss songs about each other. She came at me, and I went at her, right? Yeah. But I always felt she went at me because... Reed, should we be talking about this? I mean, well, no. Right. Well, let me, let me ask you this. Uh, did people get y'all confused? Two. You and Cheeky. Nah, cause I'm way more original and I'm I'm way more cool and old. Okay. It was it was the pet fact that she was dating him and I had songs with him and she thought I was fucking with him and I wasn't. My baby daddy went on ex pimp daddy. Did you ever have a relationship with me? See, he was like, no. So they created this whole wall between us. You hear me? It, it was crazy. You know. It, but I'm mad because Murder Dog did not check. They didn't fact check. check. Yeah. <laughs> How but you gonna it, say my brother killed somebody? I, ain't no murder dog no more, is it though? That, but that, I'm telling you, it was back then. Yeah, oh, okay, when okay, wrote yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Like, and I ain't never. We was gonna sue him, but I was like, they they going out of business. The fuck. Yeah, you fuck you could you couldn't get much now for sure. You can't get nothing. <laughs> so uh, let's start. How did you even get into the music? Like, when did you discover like you was a singer or a rapper? Oh, like, man, I was. How old I was? Well, my auntie tell this story that I was three years old. Okay. She said I had a brush in my hand. And I also have this in my book. I have a book called I Am Stronger and Wise and Eyes on Amazon. So I had a brush in my hand singing Tina Turner. What's love got to do, got to do with it, you heard me? So uh, my auntie, she, they used to watch me perform. I used to throw a wig on my head and everything. 
So I already knew that I wanted to uh, do entertainment. And plus, my grandpa, he 97 years old, he used to play with Fat Domino, but he decided he didn't want to go on tour, so he became a family man. But my family always been musically inclined. And when I started, I was in a church. Okay. I was in a church. So when Bounce started, I wanted to I wanted to rap. I started hearing Mia X. I heard uh, DJ Jimmy was the one. Yeah. Where they at, girl? Do it, yeah. baby, stick it, baby, do Come it, baby, now. stick it. Come on now. Come on, you're taking them back now. Bruh, his whole precise, precise, he did the CD. Ju they don't even they don't talk about this. Y'all can do the checks. Juvenile also wrote for DJ Jimmy. They don't ever talk about that, but he had. Oh, wow. D Ju Juvenile, my big brother. Juvenile was a bounce rapper before you were huh? Is there, is there Bounce for the juvenile. Is there footage bounce of that? for the juvenile. Bounce, baby. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Y'all tell him. Is there footage of that? Uh, of of him, him being a bounce rapper? Oh, they probably got old footage. Okay. Frank, you think they got that footage from back in the day? You remember when Juvie was a bounce rapper? Mia X too. I came here tonight to settle the score. I can hear that. Mia X was bounce too. But bounce was our niche to get in because our, it was our own music and our own culture. What you want to ask me? Because you ready. Go ahead. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm interested because, you know, New Orleans has always had a bit of just a musical city. Like, it yes. created a lot of... It brought a lot of culture to hip hop. Yeah. So how did you get to the, the street side of it? Like, I was, I don't have to tell you that, nigga. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, so basically the girl I was telling y'all about that I was doing music with, yeah. we were sneaking in the clubs. I was 13 years old. But bitch, I had the body of a pop, 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 pop. So I was lying my ass off. Had a fake ID and everything. I was what? I was 13, but I was saying I was 16, 17. Lying my ass off. And they still let you look. <laughs> you <laughs> I ain't look like it. Hey. Them hips, ass, all that was out young. Hey. And everybody's like, you were on track, like my legs were so solid then. Like I was built like Trina back then, you heard me? Mm -hmm. Like on like on that level. Mm -hmm. So a lot of dudes used to be trying to get at me, but I'm in a club, but they don't know how old I am, right? So me, me and this girl, we uh we call ourselves having a, a group called uh Terrible T and, you know, whatever, right? Yeah. I called myself Terrible T because I was trying to rap like the brat. I was trying to be gangster, but I wasn't gangster. I was soft. Yeah. But I was trying to be hood, uh, you heard me? Yeah. And she was, she was, oh, fuck it. But anyway, we entered to this contest and Cash Money was in there. You heard me? So Baby touched me first because, you know, I looked at old. And Baby was like in his 20s, so fuck it. I'm 17, 18, you heard me? Yeah, yeah. Like, what's up? I said, oh, what's up? But I'm young, they don't know, but I'm acting like I'm grown. And then all of a sudden we started performing. It was like a dong show, you know. And um, the other girl, she was rapping and then they started hearing me rap and sing. And it was like, she overpowering you. They say, we like your voice. And they gave me a card. And I ain't called them. So six, seven months later. Wait, what, what status was Baby at the time? Like what? Uh, in the beginning stages, because when I was over there, I just had an a artist called Kilo G. Mm -hmm. He passed away. Yeah. I'm on a song with him, too. Y'all oh, go look that up. Dope. Yeah. Kilo. You got it? Kilo G. Yeah, man. Um, mm -hmm. so, so they had Kilo G and they had UNLV before I got there. Yeah. But Kilo G wasn't selling, like, because he was gangster. He was like, if you heard his music, it sounded like he should have been from L.A. He was real, real cold. And they really, really, really loved him. That was like their first artist, you know? Yeah. And he had, he got killed. Like somebody came to his house and killed him. I don't know what, you know, who did it. So let's, let's do it like that. Um, as far as New Orleans as a city, because you just mentioned UNLV, you know, for those that don't know, you know, Badass Yellow Boy, things like that. Yeah, UNLV was the, uh, there was the group that was with Cash Money. And um, it was like, not, I ain't going to say a domino effect, but we kind of knew who was hot. It was UNLV. It was me. It was Lil Slim and PMW. I forgot his songs. But yeah, yeah he it was like our little click, but we were selling a lot of records. But UNLV was the top seller. Yeah. Before Dragon from the River, because they had Six and Barone, right? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Six and Barone. I just yeah. want them to correct yeah, me yeah, if I'm wrong. Yeah. There you go. Let them know. Let them right. know. So they had Six and Barone or whatever. So uh, I don't want to bash nobody, but what happened with them, it didn't work out. They wanted to do their own thing, so they left, baby. My ass, I got confused. So my cousin lured me over there by Untouchable Records, telling me they could treat me better than baby and them and all that. And I got stuck over there. Boy, I felt like an ass. See, when they blowed up, boy, I was trying to get back. I'm baby sorry. told me, because I kept playing, because I was a teenager. Yeah. Be with you one minute, don't want to be, you don't want my man call? I ain't with y'all. I was a teenager, you know? Yeah. What, what war were you from? Which war? Six war. Six war. From area. In the music, how, how much, at the time, how much was violence just for you, seeing violence along oh with the music? Oh my God, I grew up in the six war. My whole family was selling drugs. My brother was selling drugs. My cousin was selling drugs. Y'all ready? Oh. My mama was selling drugs. Oh, damn. You seen your mama slang? Oh, yeah. My mama had a shootout. Oh. My mama had more heart than her husband. She took the gun and started busting. I won't write about that. And I'll be, I'll be telling her that. Yeah, shit. Wanky's gun. Oh. She was selling, like, hustling for us. I had medallion and rings. And that's all. I looked at, oh. I had a, a finger waves. I looked. Bang, bang, bang. Wait, your house. My mama provided, you know, for us. Uh, your, house selling was, drugs. your house was the trap? You were living in the trap or she goes somewhere? Well, some, somewhat because I saw my cousins. I saw them cook. Mm. I saw some people shoot up. I also had a lot of druggies in my family, too. And we used to call them crackheads and rib them bitches. Mm. <laughs> he a crackhead. Y'all know what ribbon is, huh? Nah, nah. What's the ribbon? Tell them ribbon, y'all. Te teach, teach, teach us. Teachers, anybody ribbon got Ribbon is like uh, just sitting in, just sitting in on somebody. Oh. What they be saying it is now when people mama, be your mama's so fat. Your mama's so fat like that. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, like that. roasting and okay, yeah. and roasting and okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 You're thinking of good or something like this. Yeah, old dirty ass, you're thinking, oh, we'll say some shit like this. You remember Tasha? And be like, no. Musty Tasha. Ooh, that be killing me. Damn, damn. Musty. You know, yeah. <laughs> you know Daryl with the funky bread. Oh yeah, nah, come on, don't do Daryl like that. Do no, but I'm like saying that. that's a, that, you know. <laughs> yeah. Bit. So, but I watched this guy named Pops. He died when it, they was trying to rob him. So I was, I was like caught up in all that. How old was it when you seen your first dead body? Uh, probably, probably around twelve. Wow. The man, the man, Pops. I'm telling you about, and to find out it was somebody we knew that. Robbed them, robbed them. You heard me? Whoa. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I, didn't, I was in sh I watched shootouts when my grandma pushed us inside. Also, y'all ready for this? Let's go. My mom, my grandmother was Oops. a fucking voodoo priestess. Oh. And Monia William, look up. Okay. She used to uh, they used to my grandma. This is what my mom used to tell us. Now I watched some of the stuff because she was a pastor too. She was kind of like a fraud. I don't want to say that. Oh, okay. So she's my, a pastor my, and a voodoo priestess. She was all kind of shit, a nurse. Oh, damn. And a motherfucker had buku rings on her finger. I was like, my grandma get all of my great grandma got the rings for the other finger. Working in a funeral home, taking the motherfucking people jewelry. That's why she got all the rings. <laughs> Just wow. She grave robber. She grave robber. Wow. Shit. Wait, so do you believe, did you ever see anything voodoo-wise that she did? Oh, man, I saw them do an exorcist. Oh, A lady was throwing up green stuff. Not the nigga. I was scared pussy. like a motherfucker. Now, okay, so my grandmother on St. Philip, in the sixth wall, in the Tremay area, right? We had a fourplex. At the, at the bottom, it used to be a garage. She converted that bitch into a church. Wow. So we used to be upstairs, and we in the organ, they singing and everything. And sometimes she used to perform the exorcist to get it out of people. I don't know if it was fake or not, but we saw it. Yeah, it's crazy. There's a movie called Deliverance Out where, uh, you know, yeah, Blink Close was My mama said when she was younger and they had a school across the street called Roger's School, they used to be, they used to be embarrassed because my grandma used to be walking around the corner with fucking candles. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, okay. I, I believe. Like, voodoo is not bad. I think um, society make it bad. It has a bad connotation to but it. But it's, it's not nothing that God made is bad. It's society make it bad because it be a control issue. They are trying to control you to get you to Christianity and that's bad. Yeah, I wish there was a spell to make some money around this movie. You telling know. me about Jesus, bitch, I ain't seen him. Excuse me, they gonna be mad at me, I don't care. I don't believe in that. Cause I don't believe that God judge 
Nobody. Because we all bleed the same thing. It's not black or white or Chinese. It's the fucking human race. Bitch, because you could die just like me. That's facts. So, you know, I, I don't like all that bullshit. Okay, okay. So let's, uh, cash money. You don't call them back. Uh, baby, he likes you. He, he see you rapping and he wants- No, Slim see me. Oh, Slim see you. Oh, okay. Slim see me. He gave me the card. Oh, call us. I said, all right. I had so many niggas interested in me and they wanted to sign me. I was like, this little new hot thing. When I came out, you didn't hear me. Yeah, there was no females on Cash Money. Nah, roster. I was. Yeah. And then Magnolia Shorty came, and when she came, it was, uh, what, y'all, uh, early 2099 or something? Because she had Monkey on the dick. Yeah. Monkey on that dick. Monkey, Monkey on, on the, the dick. dick. Yeah. You know, but she didn't have an extensive catalog like I had. Because first they did an EP I had, it was called Chilling on a Condo. Okay. Bam, then we did Having Things. Bam, and then we did Female Baller. And then I have like a lot of feature with the, feature with the guys. Magnolia Shorty, she didn't have that with them. You know, but she was she was with us. Let me ask you this. Um, you see someone like Mia X with No Limit yeah. on the other end, and you mm -hmm. see her success. Do you feel like Cash Money was pushing you at that time and for you to kind of rival that or... Like re, re uh, recreate that. Well, they already told me I was colder than her, so I didn't have to. Uh, I didn't have to battle her. I was already good. My fan base liked me. They liked the Miss T because I was more relatable. Yeah. The hood girls like me. I'm talking about them niggas be creeping. All them niggas are dogs. They trying to run a game. They always creeping. The shit is a shame. You in love with this nigga because he had a child. It don't mean nothing because he's still back buck wild. Talking that shit about he done lot of them hoes. Always creeping. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on now. Come on now. I was that's teaching that, so the girls. I was a teenager teaching the girls, but they don't know I was green, right? You was green. Baby them was telling me what to write. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's how you supposed to do it, though. Look, it's old as Motown. I'm young, I'm 14, 15. Yeah. My first album came out, I was having things. I was 16, right? That's dope. They telling me, if you don't trick them, a nigga take your food stamp. I'm yeah. a kid. I had a baby at 15, but I don't know nothing about that shit. I got my boyfriend. Mm. I was married to a guy that rapped. They called him Dolomite. Not married, I'm, I'm sorry, not married. I was going with a guy that rapped named Dolomite. Yeah. And he used to have hustler, hustler, yeah, we come, hustler, hustler, red rum. It was mm. a bop in the city. There you go. You know what I'm saying? Dang. So let me let me ask, um, and I'm gonna just oh. there you go. <laughs> Where time you I don't know. Come on. I was gonna ask, <laughs> how hard was it to like get on in New Orleans at this time? Was it easy or was it was did, easier because because it was a new sound and everybody was excited. And they had so many labels. You had Take Four, you had uh, Big Boy, and Big Boy was our rival. Ooh, we was going back and forth. Chuck a, chuck a throw a party, cash money throw a party. Part partners of crime, they dissing us. We dissing them. BG, he dissing them, you know what I mean? Yeah. It was a whole battle, we was going back and forth. Then partners of crime, I'm thinking I ain't in it. They got a song called PMW Miss T and the Cowboy Nigga Baby trying to distance me. Nobody knew it. <laughs> I think I'm not in it. I'm, they put you in the finish. song? <laughs> Damn. Catch them straight. But I'm colder than the one that put me in the song because I'm still relevant and he ain't. Let's go. <laughs> so I want to talk about each member real quick, but let's start with Baby. Um, you said he used to pray to a million yeah. dollars. All right, let me explain that. Because yeah. when I explained it, I don't think people knew what I was talking about because I'm ghetto. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love it, though. I love, I love yeah, it. Yeah, I'm I ghetto. It. And let me tell you something. I used to be trying to hide that shit and be proper and be talking all proper and fucking up. Because people would come at me and be like, oh, you ghetto, you just I thought it was bad. But when I start embracing me, it's a bless. people start liking it. <laughs> oh, bitch, you funny. Oh, you just... But I wasn't liking me because they was trying to make me out what I wasn't. Yeah. Bitch, I ain't Whitney. And I don't want to be that old. I like our music. Don't put me in that box hole. I don't like that. Come on. So I start just trying to be myself, and it feel good to be authentic. That is facts. You know? So they, you, they, you not saying you misspoke, but they didn't. Uh, exp explain what you meant, because yeah, I know what you're talking All about. All right, so look. Yeah. This is what happened. So 
I used to go to the office. The office was on Tulane. It was a gas building. And I forgot what floor it was on. But anyway, baby always pernied at this million dollar pitch. He was like, Twilly, they called my nickname Twilly. Twilly, that's me. That's me. And my mom like, you know I'm a teenager. All right, whatever. Can you buy me some McDonald's? I'm trying to get me, I ain't worrying about that. All right, I need $20. Mm. Then you say you gonna buy me the tennis skirt? I was like a fucking badass teenager. Yeah. If you ain't give me what I want, I was out. Yeah. He got tired of that shit. <laughs> Yeah. You hear me? Yeah. But anyway, it was it was motivation because he always was a dope boy, always had cars. Mm -hmm. You hear me? Always had tricked out stuff. He had a, remember the Tauruses? Oh, yeah, yeah. He the tricked the fuck out that bitch. He had white seats in that. He had that bitch green. You hear me? He had the tools and voles. Like, he always was that nigga. He had a legend. He had a 500 bench. I used to wear his link chain. And then I pawned that bitch. He was mad, but I pawned. God damn it. Let me tell you what else I did. <laughs> I was so stupid and gullible, and they used to be trying to tell me, them girls you fucking with, they ain't your friends, right? So one of the girls called me and said, they was only using me, but I ain't know back then. The girl was like, I won't do my party and this and that, that, that. And I said, girl, let me call them. I said, because they don't play with me. You hear me? But they only was showing me respect because I was a young girl. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I took advantage of that shit, right? So anyway, I'm running in here, answer the phone, say, I was like, girl, we gonna call them back because they do what I say. And you do what they do, do, all that, right? Yeah. So I called baby. And I was like, yeah, I want to ask you something. He said, ask me what? And played the whole thing back. Everything I was saying, I didn't know that I was on their recorder. <laughs> yeah. They don't play with me. And I said, we still gonna do my party? He said, we might. Because he was mad at me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was talking all that. I wasn't saying bad shit. I was just like, you was they respect your shit. me, yeah, and yeah, I was shit. doing that like, and they don't play with me, and yeah. they they was showing the me respect. The female sent him the recorder, or he huh? had it recorded like this. Now nah, he had it. You know, we had tape recorders in the back with the voicemail. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, all right, this is baby, call it. <laughs> you know, yeah. Yeah. but I'm on the phone. Oh, girl, cause they don't. Hey, 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 hey. I called him. He played that bitch back. He said, "So what you say?" I said, "We having my party." I don't know. <laughs> Did y'all have a party? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's lit, that's lit. He loved me, bro. I was like a little sister, a badass little sister. He'll so tell you. You knew as he was pouring to the men, he, you knew he had it in him to become what he I became. I knew he had it in, in to become because he always took care of everybody around him. Mm. Always. This not new. This ain't no put on. Yeah. Baby always looked out for his family. And his daddy always had money. His daddy had a ballroom. The ballroom they got now, they changed the name to Gladys. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And they just changed the street uh, to the Williams, brother, Williams Brothers Way, right? GDP is... I was out there. Uh, Williams, Williams Brothers Way. Yeah. So um, they got a street name and everything. So I, yeah. then they, you can answer this. Uh, they've always depicted him as very selfish. Nah. Opposite. He didn't save people houses. He didn't put me and my first, me and my mom used to be beefing. I already told you I was a bad child, you hear me? And I was disrespectful, you know? But he ain't gonna take no side, I was his artist. He got me in my first house, I was 15 years old. He bought me my first car, I had a Cutlass Supreme. I, I, I needed my bills paid, and then sometimes I used to be lying. I was just in had a shirt. I was a little gangster. Yeah, especially like Cutlass. I was 15, 16, I was fucking niggas in there. I had a baby at 15. I ain't about to lie. Yeah. Mm. And that's why niggas thought I was older, because I was in these streets. Mm. Fucking with these niggas. So yeah. there's a loyalty to baby that you have as far as uh, yeah, because he gave me an opportunity. Let me let me ask, when you seen him going there in the Breakfast Club and you know, put some respect on my name to Charlemagne, were you upset with like Charlemagne and them? I wasn't upset with uh Charlemagne, but I knew he was gonna check him and I knew Charlemagne wasn't gonna play with him. They talk all that shit about baby, but nobody gonna play with him. Yes, they ain't gonna touch him because they know what it's hitting for. Come on, come on. Like for real. So it leads me to uh, Slim. Uh, Slim Soli, man. Yeah, yeah. Give is because we asked Terrence Gangster the same thing as far as who's the brains behind this operation. It's, it's both of them. Okay, but Slim is the more level headed. Mm. Baby, like fuck that. They play off each other. What? Yeah, they play off each other. Mm. But Slim is Slim like, saw something in you. Yeah, he saw. He the one discovered me, but yeah. I I had got more tight with Baby. 
they slim, but they still was my brothers. But it's like with baby, you just get this kind of connection with him, and he fucking with you, and he doing all this for you. You know what I'm saying? You get spurred. Would you like to see Slim more? Like, bro, come on, that's been you. Well, out, like, yeah, be out, more out. Yeah, I'll be more out. I mean, if you want to be out, I want him to choose. We was gonna make him happy. Okay, okay. If you want to be out, oh okay, yeah, he, he probably the richest uh, silent nigga I know. <laughs> yeah. So how did you get to Untouchable? Yeah, like the <laughs> I hate this story because I'm fussing with the same person that lured me from cash money and got me over there by them. Mm-hmm. You know how people be saying, you know, I, I'm a teenager. So if baby ain't giving me what I want, I'm out. Like Not even McDonald's, just stupid shit. He wants to buy me a, a, a BMW. You know what I wanted? A Kia Sportage. I was... My, <laughs> Fuck y'all. Fuck y'all. That'll piss you off. It was cute though, bitch. I was gonna make kids for <laughs> And then I had people in my head. They ain't do a fucking thing for me, but here they go. Oh, if you get a Benz, it's gonna break. You can't afford it. Bitch, I'm fucking with a nigga that's gonna, f- he gonna do that. He telling me, fat, get it, I'm gonna help you. I'm listening to them. The same people that was telling me all the bad shit about baby, they me worse. You heard me? So, I was running with the story. Oh, they fucked over me. They did this and that, 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 Cause I really did feel played and I felt played because, and I talked to them about it. I felt like I left, I talk bad about you, but they left, you took them back. I said, I was hurt. I said, cause I don't feel like I did you not. They didn't make songs about you saying you gay. You know, I know you ain't gay. Why you do me that? And he was like, I was hurt. And he said, I was hurt because y'all left. And I wanted y'all to stay. And I said, boss, I understand that. I said, nigga, it was trial and error. We didn't know. We was young. You heard me? We was young. And I said, look what I said. I get it. I said, if I need money for my bills, you could pay it. But if I, you got something going on, or I can't fuck with you. I said, I was wrong for that. I said, I apologize. I said, but I was young, you know. He said, yeah, that's why I be giving you grace. Mm. He took care of everybody. Were you ever on paperwork? Yes. I was on a contract for five years with options on their part. Wow. He sold my contract to Rock, but he didn't tell me. <laughs> they told me. Man. But you know, in business, you weren't supposed to tell that girl that. Yeah, you know. Yeah. But they was just trying to throw so much salt on his name. Damn. So I get over there by, I get over there by Untouchable, right? Yeah. And the person that lured me over there, they uncle trying to fuck me the whole time. Ah, you use words like lure and... Shit, man. Uncle Alex, shit is all bad. Bro, six months. Had his wife come over there, won't fight me like we fucking. I ain't never touch you. And I'm mad at the person that lured me over there. I'm like, you ain't even protect me. How old are you now? About 40. Okay. I mean, Plus. back then. Oh, back, oh, back yeah, then? Yeah, yeah. Um, about. 18, 19. Okay, uh, man. Because I left cash money when I was about 18. Okay. And then I went to Untouchable. And, the, and, and look how stupid this is. I ain't even realized that I had Manny Fresh doing my beats. Didn't even know you had Manny Fresh on the goddamn. Uh. Never miss something until it's gone, bro. Nah. I'm with these niggas. I got to share my show money. Is anyone from Untouchable? Look, is anyone? <laughs> these niggas not popping like me. <laughs> so then I get over there. Fuck it, my cousin. I get over there, right? He bigger than me now. I'm under him. Wow. But when I'm with Cash Money, it's you and LV, it's Miss T, it's BG, Miss T. So now I become nothing. It was like it was a play like, you know, it was a play what, what like. What did they offer you? Like, if, the, if you remember, what exactly they offered that got you over there? Uh, loyalty, uh, <laughs> buying me a car. The Kia Spanish? Uh, huh? The Kia? Not the Kia. They bought oh, me a Bondaville and you took it back. Oh, shit. So I ain't have shit. So my cousin said... Oh, man, look what happened. The company shut down because somebody stupid went, uh, uh, robbed the fucking pawn shop, right? They get busted, bring everything to the, the studio. And the CEO, who talked too much, who I don't like, read it on the dude. You hear that? The, the words of Lord T. You hear that? Shit. So I was out of there. Damn. And I was like, bro, you ain't even protect me. Like, 
Was there a conversation with Cash Money and Tom to possibly do some more business during yeah, that time? he ain't want to do it because he already gave me a warning. Yeah, yeah. He was yeah. like, if you leave again, I ain't fucking with you. Yeah. And I took that for granted because I could always go back. I'm his little sister. Mm. Or they give me what I want. Or they don't play with me, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he was like, uh-uh, no. And recently I told him, I said, I'm glad you did that. And he was like, he said, he said what you learned from it? I say never bite the hand that feeds you. <laughs> so let's do it like this. Let's let, let, let's touch on BG for a second. Uh, you was able to link up with him last night uh, at the concert. Was that was that your first time seeing BG since he got out, or? Uh, no. Okay. But actually, I had wrote him when oh, he was in jail. Was early yeah, on he, or later? Uh, no, later. Okay. Before he got, it was like maybe about a year before he got out. Okay. And we was talking, and Omi wrote me back. And uh, we, was, we was just talking about, you know, he was like, oh, when I saw the letter, I was smiling, you know. Yeah. I just wanted to reach out to him because I have a good relationship with his mama, Miss Sin. Yeah. So I check on one there every now and then. I know one of my little partners used to be fucking with him, you know. So, I, you know, I, I keep it cool with people, you know. So uh, him getting out uh, was an exciting day for you as far as, you know, you wrote him a year before he got out and he's out. It was, it was exciting. It was exciting, but I, I ain't any like that. Okay, then you ain't worried about it like that. I'm still excited. Yeah, right. I'm the excitement motherfucker. So how I love BG. You know what I mean? It's the anticipation. I don't never get excited when there's anticipation. Mm. Cause you, you gotta work. You gotta yeah. show me. That is facts. And and with the girls, I signed four girls at my own record company, Top Tier Entertainment, right? Hell yeah. I even signed my fucking daughter because I ain't playing this business. Hell yeah. You heard me. With your daughter go And on? it's 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 hard work. My daughter graduated from LSU. Oh, dope. Yeah. Uh, over there and see, it. that's the statistics. They think just because I had a baby, young yeah. that, I got a college degree too. Come on now. You heard me? So I broke that generational curse because my grandmother got pregnant at 13. My grandmother had five kids for the same man. She was married, used to beat, his, beat her ass. That's why she got away from him, right? Whoa. My mama had a baby at 16 and I had a baby at 15. So it was like a, it was a curse. You'd and then with my baby, I was on her. Yeah, you, yeah she got past 16. She don't have no children. Okay, there you go. Okay, well, thank you. Okay. You break the curse. And I was on her about that because I didn't want her to be like me. Yeah. And it's, I want my kids to be better than me. I'm not saying I'm, I'm, I'm not great, but, but I don't want them to make the learn same from, mistakes. Yeah, learn, from, yeah, yeah. learn from your uh, situation. Yeah, learn from your situation. Yeah, yeah. So how hard was it to keep doing music after the situation? I was depressed. Okay. I was so fucking depressed. Here I put all this work in with cash money. I let them lure with me. I got different beats. The beats whack like a motherfucker. No Manny Fresh. No Manny Fresh. Manny Fresh is in all my albums. And now I'm dealing with them. I say this don't sound right. I'm used to the sound with them. Being with cash money is like being with boot camp. It's boot camp. So they'll put a beat on and it'll be like, Wayne, what you got? Spit, all right. Twelly, what you got? My nickname. Twelly, what you got? Okay. Uh, yeah, what you got? Mm. It was, and whoever fit it, and that's why I do the, that's why I do that. The battles I do with the girls, because they taught me that they used to that's do that. That's how you're supposed to do it. What, yeah. what studio was that? That Oh, uh, we was in Canal. We used to be in Canal Place. So now I forgot the name of the studio. Okay. But we recorded boo boo places. Let me ask you in that moment, because, you know, again, we know that's, that used to be how we used to do. Turn a beat on and everybody. Yeah. Who did you feel back then, outside of yourself, was really- Oh, you know I was going to say myself on. Yeah, I know you're going to say yourself. <laughs> uh, who I felt was going to make it, I ain't going to say Wayne. I'm going to say uh, 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 BG. BG. He had that motherfucker. Yeah, because he was like, he is following. Like, no matter what he went to, he still got it. Yeah. Look how packed that club was. Oh, yeah. Nah, that shit was crazy. That's fucking BG, man. Yeah, and he day. did he, he did a great job. He was rolling. Yeah, man. And actually, my partner and uh, Cito, that be with Baby. Yeah. And uh, uh, Minutes, yeah. they put that show on together. Oh, dope. Yeah. Oh, oh Minutes yeah. out top. Minutes! Shout out Minutes. Cito. <laughs> Shout out Minutes. Shout out Minutes. Um, so nah, no. but I like it. Well, let me tell you what happened. Yeah. So I had called Minutes, and I was like, we won't come to the concert. He was like, Fat, I got you. He said, you and somebody else. Me and this bitch had a fuss. I fuck with her. <laughs> yeah. Look, no, I just gotta be real. Yeah. Dirk, 
She talking to Dirk, fussing at Dirk, and I'm mad at her because she fussing with Dirk because she be fussing about stupid shit. Yeah. So I'm at this concert, I don't even want to be there. I'm like, bitch, I'm going to be at the BG concert. The Big Boss Daddy's in the BG concert. Daddy up! Yeah. Fucking whack ass bounce concert. I don't want that. Got motherfucking Greg D on there out of breath. I want you that. Goddamn. Goddamn. And then it was so disrespectful, bro. Like, Re need our alcohol for her. She needs to sit down. She a woman. The motherfucking dude that an empty chair had his motherfucking book bag right there and did not want to. So that pissed me off. Oh, you know what I did, though? Go ahead. I walked to the fucking table, dragged that chair. Bitch, sit down. <laughs> Don't I find us playing? <laughs> right. She complained. I find a solution. I'm lying. Is she complained? I find that I solution. A, that's me. I find a solution. You tell me you need something. I'm going to get it. I might not get the mountain, bitch, but I'm going to go up there and get the dirt for you. How, how was it seeing the love that uh, BG got? Oh, man, awesome. Yeah. I think he's going to do real good when he come out because, like, you know, they're going to fuck with him. Is he still, is he, like, on have Can he do what he want to do? Is he, is he uh, or... Basically, I think by him being, you know, re-signed with cash money, he yeah. had to be somewhere where he worked. So I, I really don't know. Don't quote me, but. Yeah, what, 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 let me ask you this. What are your thoughts when they said, um. They have to monitor his lyrics. Oh man, that was bullshit. Yeah, we got to monitor what you say. Oh, that was bullshit. That's some. I ain't never. I ain't never heard of no I ain't never shit heard like that no in my like life. That. Like you can't That's talk that about Donald Trump, Trump scam <laughs> shit. Like Donald Trump be he built this and built that and he just put his fucking name on the building. <laughs> nah, for real. He uh, put his name on the That's crazy. This man a convicted felon gonna be president, and I got my black dudes around here. They convicted felon. They can't even get a job. Yeah. They can't even vote. Come on, man. But this nigga. He funny though. Yeah, he funny. I ain't gonna lie though. I'd rather him than her. Yeah, I like him. Because he's gonna tell the truth. Yeah, I like him. I don't want him to run for president. I just want him to just. Be Mr. Around, Clarence, right? I don't want you that. He's just a funny nigga. You know why? <laughs> yeah, he's Because just... Pamela running the same fucking game. He's he gonna Pamela. do the. <laughs> what I name? Pamela, Camela, Carmela. Yeah, shit. Respect. Oh, <laughs> she gonna come and say, put some respect on my name. She gonna, it's Carmela. She gonna walk in here with. It's, uh, I don't wanna mess it up. Carmela. Kamala. 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 No, I don't want to fuck it up. We're not going to do this. We're not going to do we this. We all messing that yeah. man's name up. Miss Harris. It shouldn't be this hard. It shouldn't be this hard. Miss Harris. Miss Harris. Okay. Miss Harris. Mrs. Harris, yes. I, I, I just think it's going to be the same. I think it's going to be the same like Obama. No, seriously. You're a black woman. To, ha to see a black woman president, you're not I mean, excited? That's, that's awesome. I mean, it's excited, but I mean, it's the same party with the same thing. Like, if you dig in politics and everything... It's all smoke and mirrors. That's a front. That's like Bill Cosby. You watching the show thinking it's all that and then it's But that's what Obama devious. was. Obama was just- Obama was the same thing. Yeah, he's just a- He signed he's a something placement. for gay people and left the other people out. Damn, okay. So uh, black people are happy to see a black man- I think it. that's what it was all As about. a woman, you don't want to see the black- I woman. really don't fucking care. Damn. Because it's going to be the same thing. If they could start changing policies and doing the right thing yeah. and stop giving people overseas millions of dollars yeah. and we broke, then I can respect it. It's the same policy. They're one and the same, but they come in front of us and make it like it's different. It's not. They're all together, I feel. What's some policies you like to see change, not only in the world, but in where you from? Stop fucking telling me what I need to do with my body. Amen. How you going to tell me if what if, what if I get art? And I don't want it. That's traumatic. That is. And you telling me I got to keep it? You got to read it. Bitch, you going to take care of it? See, that's the thing. They want you to keep it, but we got to pay for it. Um, I ain't. I think politics, I just think it's phony, and I think they need to refresh it. They need younger minds. The president, he need to stop at 65. You don't need no nigga in no 70. 80? Yeah, 80? yeah, that's why I felt the that same thing. That man be saying the same. That man be messing. You shouldn't be that old because you can't be too young to be president. You can't be that you can't, old. Yeah, you can't be too young, but they should have a, like a cap on that. What if um, what if Haitians uh, came through like six water and started eating cats and dogs and people's pets? What would you? What? Like if that happened in the six world, would you be worried? Like in with America? No, they doing that now. <laughs> Bestiality, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. The white girls fucking dogs. <laughs> Beastie The men hey. fucking dogs in the ass. Oh, it's out there. Yeah, no, you know that. It's out Look there. Look on the internet. The dark web got it. The dark web, yeah. Nothing yeah. is under the sun. Nothing surprised me. It didn't all happen again. 
We just ain't lived centuries ago. Now facts on some Viking shit. Yeah, this some some shit was fucked up oh, back in the day. Wait, y'all. Let me tell y'all this: what I don't like. I don't believe in space. Nah, come on now. You ain't gonna do that, man. Let me tell you. Wait. <laughs> no, nigga. Huh. Let me tell you. Who the fuck put that light up there for him to take a picture with the flag? No, don't no, they... no. So Elon Musk just two days ago mm -hmm. sent the first civilian to do a spacewalk. And why? So he's a he's a billionaire. I don't know why billionaires want to go under the water and go in space, but he got, he, they put a suit on, he went in space, he was on a phone call like, y'all, I'm out in space. And they everybody's clapping. You could Google it. And then he got back in, they brought him back down to Earth. Why you think everything you Google is true? It's a video. They tell you, they tell us about Jesus. Where was Jesus' bloodline? You tell me about it, bitch, because I ain't here. He didn't have no kids, though, I don't think. Man, did Mary had a fucking baby? That wasn't Jesus. That, the I, thought story was a, I thought she stepped out on him. How can Mary get pregnant without having sex? Y'all have to It's really immaculate conception. <laughs> white people have lied to black people, and that's their history, and I was stupid ass believing in that. God is So what should we hate. believe in? Huh? What do you believe in? As I'm, spirit, I'm spiritual. I believe in vibes. I believe in energy. I believe in God. I believe God is an energy field. But you don't believe in space? Nah, I think space. I, okay, I do. Okay, I okay, just okay. don't think it's the way they're telling us that. Oh. I think it's underwater. Deep, deep, deep down. Because when you watch the sharks, no, you, yeah, you want they look some. different. You want some. Yeah, you want some. Their you... eyes are big like aliens. Right. Keep they, going deep. They, yeah, they change. So yeah. they telling us it's up there. Every time they telling us it's up there, it's down there. Damn. They go down there faster than they go up there, right? That is true. That is Remember true. that dude? The, why? That's a fraud. <laughs> why them fucking people, we never found them people that went down there. Deep down, and then the Atlantis. What are we talking about? Remember on the on the submarine. Yeah. Oh, 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 bro! Shut up! You talking about Aquaman? They, um, they yeah, I don't know why they ain't even talking about that no more. Because it it imploded. You can't. That's the lost cause. They fucked up. Yeah, you, 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 you right. But it, well, hold on, wait. <laughs> so at least do you feel the Earth is round? Earth is round, right? We're and we're Earth we're, is flat. This is oh yeah. man, Earth is flat. Oh, shit. So. So, so we're not spin are we spinning me, around the sun? Listen to me. Okay. So you mean to tell me you saw them get in that, uh, whatever that thing, that little spaceship shit and go down there? I did not see that, though. No. All right. Yeah, I seen the- They could have sent something down there and then blew it up and said they gone and then they fucking faked their identity and went somewhere else. They billionaires. Okay. Thank. Yeah, no, you're right. Where's the people from 9-11? Because bitch, I don't hear nothing about them no more. We just, we just had a, 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 member, a commemoration uh, two days ago. Where is the people that they were supposed to be in jail? And it's a, I, where are those? They don't talk about that no more. Bin Laden's dead. I mean, <laughs> they, I mean, he got killed. Where is the people that ran the motherfucking plane into the buildings? Uh, six feet under. I guess. They six. All right, where they pictures at? They don't talk about that no more. They don't talk about it no more. That either. was a lie. They bombed that shit. You know they bombed that and shit. I think history For shit will... to change, they gotta they got to do something to make it to, to bring some new in like they did Katrina. So you believe in Katrina? Conspiracy. Yes, I'm a conspiracy theorist. Yes. When Katrina happened, right? Damn no what who was that? Re. Yeah, Re. Uh, give, give they your thoughts. we had water when Katrina was there. Them fucking levees bust, who bust, and then they got flooded. I heard it. Yeah, they say it was explosion, possibly. They f and who did it? Hey. Who won? Who got money? All right. You know, you know, so why we didn't change the whole culture of New Orleans not and not gentrify? You don't think that's a plan? Mm. We won't look. The mayor gonna say Chocolate City. That that Mark Moriel. I'm saying right now. Oh, you talking about no Ray Nagin? Ray Nagin said uh, the chocolate. There was on him since. Now you went to jail. Everything. Nah, for real. Nah. <laughs> Certain things like they be trying to keep you in line. So stay in line, boy. Where were you at when Katrina happened? I, I left New Orleans, but I had left my kids here. You mean kid, right before you were already gone from no, New Orleans? No, 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 no. Let me tell you. So what happened was we was getting prepared for the storm. So my mom was like, I'm going to take the kids. So my mom, my mom took my two kids because it's like a tradition thing that we do. Like when we go, we just rent hotels because they still going to have the generators and stuff like that. So we are going on Canal Street because we got the highs rise and all that. And then it don't be as funny on Canal Street like it'll be in the inner city because they say... New Orleans like a fishbowl. Yeah. And then French Quarters, I stay in the French Quarters. It's like a tourist attraction. 
So they ain't gonna let that bitch sink. You know that. <laughs> nah, at all, at all, at all. So you got the you got the heads up a couple of days before because a lot of people were trying to leave. Yeah, Some but, said, but my mama and them already, my mama, auntie, uncles, my whole family, I already knew they was going to the hotel. So I was cool. So I said, you know what, I'm gonna go with my cousin into Atlanta. Mm. And then realized when I woke up, I saw that fucking water. I thought everybody was dead. Man. I was crying my ass off. But the hotel I was in, y'all ready for this? Yeah. Tyler Perry paid for our motherfucking room. What? What the wow. fuck? How does Tyler Perry come into play? He because he heard about the disaster. Oh. And he be around, where his studio at? Around that area? Yeah, that I, area Atlanta, I was yeah. in that area. And, you know, everybody was giving around that time. Red yeah. Cross and everything. Yeah. And he started paying for our hotel. Did you come up off of that? Because a lot of people- Oh, were. yeah, man. I went to Red Cross about 18 times. <laughs> yeah. Nah, for real. For real. For real. I had the card. Got a check. Oh, nigga, I was hitting them bitches. We were going everywhere hit them bitches. Fuck God, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, Cause you, you know what they was doing, We huh? was in Dallas and a lot came to Dallas. But you know what they, they was parking in that fucking money too. They, they was, of course. Cause somebody told me, if we give you money for Katrina, I'm gonna give it to you. Cause them organizations wasn't really doing right. They was already doing it. Yeah. yeah. It, we, it seems like we see disasters as a way to come up. So like, might as well, we better come yeah. up too, goddammit. Don't be stupid. <laughs> you better come up too, so. Kobe me, was a way too to come up. Nah, exactly. You got a lot of saying. money for Kobe. You got to. Okay. I was able to say 10 stacks and not touch it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Damn. And then I still was sneaking doing shows. Because I still perform. Yeah. We, I still perform in New We ones. had a recording studio and we, we turned up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, niggas was, niggas was bored. Look, <laughs> look, them bitches. My, my city, I love our ladies. Them bitches got so slick. Oh, we can't, oh, we can't, we can't throw venues. We in the backyard. The bitches in the backyard booking a bitch. <laughs> That's how you have to do it. I think Dave Chappelle performed at a, a backyard Oh, uh, I was concert. in Buku backyard party. <laughs> For making real. my coins. Come on now. Oh, yeah. How does it still, how does it feel to still be able to perform in your city, give you good. so much love? And all? Man, good, bro. It's like, you know, people try to downplay me because they be feeling like, Oh, you ain't this and you ain't that, but they ain't make fifty thousand dollars off their master locally like I did when Baby Ben gave me my masters in two thousand. Oh, wait a minute, hold on, wait, wait. Baby gets a bad rap for not, you know, Tiger. Baby gave me my masters and UNLV. Damn. So <laughs> back in two thousand, so. Again, a lot of artists were, even Wayne was upset with Baby. Not in no 2000. Wayne just yeah, got exactly. upset with so, him in 16. Right. So what was it? Baby I was more given back then? I think was bigger than what it was. Like, it just wasn't about money. It was about relationships. So you got to understand, Wayne is a man now. And he been under Baby for the longest. So I could see that di dynamic, like they fussing and fighting. But I always knew they was going to get back together because of the love. He loved that nigga. What about the rumor that Baby tried to have Wayne killed? Ooh. I ain't touching that one. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Mm -hmm. So, so let me ask you because he gave you your masters back in two thousand. If you, if it was twenty sixteen, you think you would have got your masters back from baby? Like it early. Like, like, like if it was when everyone start complaining about the music and I had a different relationship when I got what the fuck I want. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. What somebody say? Yeah, because he played people. I said I'm a girl. Hey, you know for real. Let's start with that. Let's start with that. Let's start with that. Oh, he did you that. He didn't do me that, bitch. Oh, I got me. What? So. Oh, that's on you. Like, they oh, that try one. to blame everything on baby. And they don't take accountability for what they did. You hear me? Yeah. So, yeah. Should artists read their contracts and. I think you always should read your contract. Yeah, because I'm but like, I think, it's in black and white. I own the shit. But what baby. Baby was my manager and my record company was a contract of. Con a conflict of interest, but you know, like, and and I didn't know that when I was younger. But fuck, he be saying, you know, that's know. what he said when he got him and Wayne got back together. He said, "Man, I was learning the business as well." We all was learning. Yeah, that's like we all like baby. It's like what y'all see, baby, and them do. We've been doing that locally. Mm -hmm. We had the Muslims protecting us way back then. Oh, shit. we had limos and all that back. Then. X, right. Hey. I'm lying. Hey, the the Riverboy Hollywood, on. baby, them used to throw their own shows. Hey, the bean pies on. So when they paint that picture on, you know, it's fake. They lying. He so, gave them bitches opportunity. I'm, I think the funniest interview I ever seen is with BG. The dude asked him, 
So what did baby really, he said, what did baby really take from her? He was like, he's like, cause how many cars do you have? He's like, I got 10 cars. He's like, but I want to be able to buy my own car. I don't want to have to wait on a nigga to give me a car. Wait, who, who that was? That was BG said that. He said, I, I don't want to wait on a nigga to buy me a car. I want to go buy my own car. He said, how many cars do you have? He said, I got 10 cars. <laughs> Who said that? Uh, BG, he he did this. He did that in an interview. He was like, because they was asking why he didn't want to be with Cash Money anymore. And he was just like, I just don't feel like I want to wait on no man to do nothing for me. Or he I, I, again, that's family shit. Where you at now? <laughs> okay. Come on now. <laughs> Next. I, I, I know. I just, Next. I, Where you at now? No, I just really That's, thought he was funny because he no, was like. No, but it was funny. He got 10 even, cards. No, even. but even when he said it in a rap, when he said, because I laughed, he said, what, what he said, like, baby, I'm off with the buy him a car and right. he ain't get it. You know, some shit. You know, like, it's family thing. And I think when they get together and they talk because of them having the relationships that they had, they always fix it. That's, Let me tell you something. Cash money did essence, right? Mm -hmm. And before in January, I had a whole beef for baby. Fuck that nigga. I don't fuck with him. Who all that, right? But I'm trying to make this bitch mad, you hear me? Oh, I told him. Yeah. I'm back and forth doing this and that, that, you hear me? Yeah. But uh, I wanted to fix my relationship because one thing that I knew that he had took care of me. And That's I used right. to be lying to everybody to make him look bad. Damn. And because I, I fucked up my own shit. At the end of the day. You know, I, fu I fucked up my own shit. Accountability is Yeah, important. I left. Thought I, it was going to be bigger and better. I was going to get more. And them niggas played me. Damn. And when I tried to go back, he was like, nah. And it was like the loyalty I didn't show. But then also, I was young. Yeah, yeah I was young. Like growth is, growth is amazing. Yeah, growth, growth is, is amazing. amazing. So, you know, we get past cash money. You're living your own life. You're still doing shows. You write a book. How did that come about? What made you want oh, to get Oh man, into that? I needed to write it because I needed to heal. It was so many things I was going through and then people was playing me like I didn't do anything for the city, my legacy. And then I was I was going through shit with them. They wasn't claiming me, but they wasn't claiming because I was dragging for them. Yeah, dragging, dragging for them. I was dragging for them bitches, sir. <laughs> Let me make a little funny story is, is when we started back talking, I go in the metro in my mind, I'm like, I'm going to talk to Slim. I ain't telling that nigga nothing as soon as I go back there. So you hate me? No, I'm going to hate you. I just ain't like what you did me. Bro, you ain't doing me in 30 years, bro. You can't keep. You coming off like dirt. <laughs> you coming off like dirt. <laughs> I say, boss, I'm sorry. I say I was hurt. I say I don't like the shit that you did. And we talked about it. And I told him it'll never happen again. Cause I wanted to heal, dog. Every time I'm talking, I'm in, I'm an older woman now. You still talking about that? So, bitch, you don't think you can make it? Yeah, but with, and look, and even if you felt like you didn't get, pay, get paid right, you still got that fucking opportunity. Nobody would have knew Miss T if they wouldn't have gave me that opportunity. Even though I was a motherfucker, <laughs> they still gave me a chance. And he said, when I when I wanted to repress my stuff, he said, you can have it. And he said, long as no other nigga ain't fucking with it, I ain't worrying about it. I like that. <laughs> it's simple. And he Can always you do that? that? He <laughs> always do that. Yeah. So look, when the dudes was fussing, and fussing with me on the internet, <laughs> it's funny. And uh, they were saying I ain't make no money. I went and screenshot my royalties, the $50,000 I made, mean, right? And then I had sent it to the baby. Eat me. Which one that was? <laughs> is that real? Is that, let me know. Okay. Like, which one that was? That was the ones with us? Yeah. <laughs> That's real. Man, baby, a kiki and funny. Girl, you got to get the norm to really, you know, but he got to be a boss and he got to be rootless. Who got a nice ball, boss? Who? Yeah, you ain't going to make it too far not being a shark. You when you be nice to people, people fuck over you. You know that in life. Yeah, yeah. Something as simple as that. So let me let me ask uh, because the book uh, does cover the cash money stuff, but also covers life after and everything else. Um, what is something in the book that people like might just kind of gravitate towards? Uh, what story? Depression, uh, dealing with uh, being bipolar. I just mm -hmm. came out with that because some niggas on the internet was trying to out me, talking about I'm crazy and shit like that, but they didn't know the. You were dealing uh, with real. Yeah, they didn't know what I was dealing with, but the, it was a rapper dude. 
every time he wrongs somebody out of, and he get into it with me, go take your medicine. Mm. You want medication for it? I take I take Lexapro. I'm like Kanye. Mm. How does a bipolar you try to fuck over you? Yeah. How did you I, keep? I could be nice. How did you keep relationships? Uh, oh, it's hard. Yeah, like knowing because my mind always telling me don't fuck with them. So I got it, it, but it's it's strategies. I know how to deal with it now. So I take a little gummy and I take my and I be like like I'm right now. I oh be yeah, good. you chilling. Okay, yeah. I, I be chilling. You hear me? But without it, get back. And get back. what? <laughs> put me What's in the studio. <laughs> put me in the, put me in front of some music. But I want people to be aware about mental health. Yes, awareness. It is real awareness. And in the black community, they don't take it serious. We don't. We don't even go get checked up on it. Oh man, and just talking about it make me cry because people say you bipolar and they don't know what you're going through. No facts. That's I don't want to cry, but I, no, I, I it's, I've been through so much as a teenager, and people don't understand that. When you're trying to be an adult as a teenager, no, really. You don't have your parents there, you got to figure it out. That's right. traumatic for a young girl to try to be a mom. Right. You're rolling with niggas, you got niggas trying to fuck you. You're a young girl, you're in these streets. So you deal with all kind of shit. Do you feel what you. And people, they just judge you. They don't know what you, oh, she crazy, oh, she this, oh, she spaz out, oh, she this. Bitch, you don't know what I've been through. Bitch, I was in an abusive relationship getting my ass beat. Baby, them could tell you that. Mm. The guy I was in a relationship used to whoop my ass. Mm. He beat me so bad one time, we called baby and them over it out. And my brother and them had, um, we had called the cops and shit. He, he used to be cheating on me, right? It was fucking all kind of hoes. And we call ourselves breaking up, and I started fucking with somebody else. This nigga came in my house and knocked the door down and whooped my ass. Remember them things, the Fruggle Rocks? Yeah. My shit was this, and Babe was like, he fucking up my investment. Why is you fucking with this nigga? But I was young. That was my first relationship, so I didn't know. But that was something, so that could make you traumatic. Yeah. They were about racing thoughts anxiety, because you didn't been through so much as a teenager. They treated me like I was an adult. I was a child. I was with it, but I, my mind wasn't developed. You know? Do you feel like you have PTSD? Can y'all cut the crying out? We gonna keep a little bit of it. All right. Do you feel like you have PTSD? Nah, I don't have, I don't have P, PTSD. I don't have that, but I ADHD, um, uh, bipolar, and I need the medicine. And somebody was trying to convince me one day, girl, don't take that medicine. I go a month without that medicine. I'm fighting everybody. They got different signs of bipolar. They got bipolar depression. They got bipolar manic. And people need to be aware of that. And it's, it's not a death sentence. And we need to, our community, they need to start talking about mental health. We didn't have any mental health service when it came to Katrina. Yeah, they all. How could you, you saw your shit on the water, you lost everything, then the government gave us $10,000 each. Yeah. And they called us refugees. That was something we went through. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's traumatic. And then our government, where the mental health shit, I think it was, not Bobby Jen, it was one of them dudes. Yeah. You need mental health facilities. People deal with this every day. I do, it's still a struggle with me. Mm. That's some real talk. Um, so I told the baby about it because he was telling me stop crashing out on the internet. And he was like, he was like, fat, you can't crash out on the internet. You know what I'm saying? He said, let them niggas say whatever they want. I said, but this is what I've been. This my story. How the fuck you make fun of me? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. I don't know what people go through. Like, yeah. that's a struggle to have racing thoughts. That's a struggle to one minute won't fuck with somebody, one minute not. That's my point. You feel what I'm saying? Exactly. It's exactly. a lot of shit that I go through. Exactly. And to be made fun of, it's like you bully me and it be niggas. Niggas mad because I don't want to fuck with them. You know what I'm saying? Does, does I got more niggas in New Orleans hating me than females. I got a big female fan base in New Orleans. You do. You do. And the niggas, dog, they be on some stupid shit and I just don't understand like you niggas would not fight men. So when I defend myself, or oh, then I'm crazy on the internet. Because bitch, what you not going to do is put my shit out there. So I'm going to put it out there. I am. And I'm going to let them see you. 
I post a post because I want them to see who you are. Because if you did it to me, you're doing it to somebody else. You feel what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So does, oh, it, does that make your skin more uh, tough, like yeah. Teflon? Uh, yeah. Because... It, it, so now I can say, oh yeah, I deal with bipolar. I used to be ashamed of it. And yeah. I used to be like, why I'm like this? Why I can't regulate my thoughts? You know, I said, why this? Why? And just not like, like, it, it's just crazy, bro. Like, but the medicine balanced it out. The Lexapro balanced it out that I'm good. There you go. Yeah. So you have your own record label, top tier. Yeah. What made you want to get into that? Oh, man, because I got tired of the girls always telling me some DJ or some producer want to fuck them. Damn. How bad is it? How bad is, is that, like, for Bad. Damn. So it happens And this a is lot. why these girls can't get fall. It happened to me all the time. And with younger producers like they, and They will producers. offer, uh, hey, if you do this, I could get you further? Fuck with me. I've been like you. I've been a, bitch, I don't care. Give me my $1,500 I did this feature for. Yeah. So I guess they start, like, because, like, I ain't insecure at all. So you can't run that book. Give me my money, bitch. But they play on girls and some girls take the bait and be fucking these niggas. And then they drop them and then their career and they, uh, their reputations fucked up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I never had to do that. If I fucked a nigga, I fucked him because I wanted to. Not because I needed a beat. Not because I needed a song. Slim discovered me. Them niggas would've went to jail if they fucked with me. Then, you know what I'm saying? Right. So is that why you're only going to hire females? For your record label? I'm going to get men, but I want to try to do something but different. That's why I want to do like a reality show with it. Because I do this thing where I do what Cash Money taught me when I say freestyle. What you got? What you got? What you got? Yeah. So I go up and I make a hit. Fuck the police. They so long to come. Niggas grab your gun. Fuck the police. Where they at? Where they? Hey, yo, what you got? She running it. Mm. Then the other one get home. Oh, she ain't about to beat me. I'm going. And the energy is raised. You hear me? Yeah. Because I'm not downing them. Even if you can't freestyle, I'd be like, bitch, try. It ain't hard. You know? Can I ask you, uh, you said you met, what, what age was you when you met Lil Wayne? I mean, how age, what age was Lil Wayne when he came into picture and you 12. met? 12. 12. Was he really rapping like that at 12? Yes. Really like that? They'll tell you, yeah. Was, uh, like father, like son, great album. Baby always said he looks at Wayne like his son. Was Wayne under him like a son? Yeah. Like BG too. Where was his damn daddy? Oh well, no, wait. Wayne's daddy. Uh, he he told, died. Yeah, he told that story. And then Rabbit was like his stepfather or something. Huh? Mm. But Baby, uh, he looked out for them boys. This was before Wayne got shot, or after Wayne? After, after Wayne got shot, I think. No, maybe. Around the time. Around of, the time. Okay. Yeah. Um, but it, you didn't hear in the interview when he said that uh, Wayne, uh, Mama didn't want him to mess with him at one point? Yeah, he said that, yeah. But Wayne a meeting him now. So now, it was good that he did fuck with him, huh? Yeah, now mind you, uh, you know, we had Pimp and Ken up here. He said, uh, you know, I met Wayne when he was a teenager and, uh, I, you know, I got him a little situation that happened. Um, so I could see a person's mom saying, you doing some grown people stuff. Was Wayne in the clubs? Like, yeah, what, what I, you... we were sneaking him in the club. They had a club on North Claiborne called Club Escape. But the lady name is Virgie, right? She let him in and she was like, he got to go. He got to go. And somebody had to bring him on. But we used to try to have him around everything. Let me ask So look, he got yeah. so much wreck for me when he started the first annual Louisiana Fest. Uh, yeah. He was on stage with me. Oh, that's real. And he let me run it. He was following me. And he's That's like, y'all might know her by Miss T, but I know her by Twilly. It's on Hulu. Oh, Hulu. Shit. Watch, it's on Hulu. Uh, the Louisiana Fest, very big fest. Oh! Uh, can't wait. This and one. I just told them bitches, don't ask me for no motherfucking passes since y'all want to say all that shit about Wayne, bitch. Nah, nah, I, I want to pass though. Okay. No. Just, just me. <laughs> just, just, you say something shit. bad about Wayne? No, no, I love Wayne. Mm -hmm. Shit. Um, no, this one's going to be the biggest one because... <laughs> Even the Hot Boy Reunion. Yeah, the Hot Boy Reunion. Yeah. Essence Festival did where they were, they were all in the same building. Um, and they were like, where Turk at? But this is going to be the real one where the, the poster now shows all the Hot Boys. Manny Let Fresh. Let me ask y'all something. Do y'all think, think Turk uh, deserved that uh, 
to be at a reunion if he sat down with guys and told them that, baby, I fake jewelry and toy, you, toy, you, whatever, whatever, whatever. Do y'all think if you, you, why you want to be with my company? No, no, I think he should. So do you think he should have let him perform? So Turk sat right here on our interview and okay. told us about uh, the fake jewelry. And he said this. What? He said, this is my testimony. It's not a messimony. I'm not trying to be messy. Now, you sometimes your truth, messy, though. Yeah, your truth sometimes can sound messy. It is messy. But it's messy. his truth. Like, no, no, no. How do you tell a man truth. not you tell know why it's not his truth? Go ahead. They didn't ask you about that. <laughs> they didn't ask you about none of that. Hey. Hey. Your truth is real. You know, that ain't real. That's like airing somebody out. Oh, we was cash money media. We had fake jewelry. We had Geneva's on. <laughs> My boss brand is cash money millionaires. Why would you go there and say you ain't fake jewelry? That's tarnishing his brand. I wouldn't want to fuck with you either. And you with these niggas, I'll put you on. I ain't, these niggas ain't, go ahead. I ain't gonna lie though. If I'm baby, and I'm running, hey, that kids, I'm putting their ass on some fake jewelry too. Yeah, get you, you want to change? Yeah, a little watch, and, you a kid. And I don't even really, th- <laughs> let me tell you. I got chains for my girls, right? And we did the sterling silver thing. Yeah. Why would I invest a lot of money and these hoes ain't even sell records yet? Not even hoes, but they ain't even sell no records yet. I'm doing this on a strength because I'm building my brand mm. and it look good for content and everything. And I want y'all to feel good, y'all to part, part of something. <laughs> So Turk, he he admitted to it, being a drug addict. Yeah. Um, it seems like he himself has found grace though. Like, yeah, he talked about all these things, you know, not too, you know, recently. Yeah. But he still is a major part of the hot boys. I can't take that away from him. He is. But you can't talk against something you want to be a part. Who when he's gonna take accountability? Uh, that's you saying it's real, sometimes keeping it real is fake. There you go, yeah. It cut your bag. <laughs> and it's gonna keep cutting it. Come on. You're lucky you got this one. Yeah, so so Wayne is probably going to be the person saying, yeah. I want this to happen. And Juvie, because Juvie a good dude. Juvie okay. took care of me, too. Yeah, Juvie, Wait, Look, so I was with UTP for a little while, too. I met Big Fendi. Oh. I know March. Oh. When Big Fendi came down, when Nicki Minaj was in New Orleans, he called me. I was asleep. I was so pissed off because I would have met him, but I met my connection was through Juve. Yeah. When Juve was on UTP, y'all look up the UTP. I'm on the UTP album. Yeah. My first time traveling the whole world was with Juve, and that's why I can always respect him. Because in New Orleans, we got a cloud, dog. Nobody don't want to make it. We going to Baton Rouge, and we coming back. Or Texas, we think that's going out of town. Yeah. I traveled the world with Juve. My first time being in New York. You was on that He's, bus that he had, the UTP the bus? The UTP bus. Come on now. Come on now. Oh, yes. Yeah. I got to see uh, Joe, uh, 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 Fat Joe and Remy Ma in Philadelphia do Lean Back. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's lit. I got to go with Juve and he did a festival in New York, a reggae festival, and they like slow motion. <laughs> we yeah, got pissed right. off. Let me tell you why my brother got mad at me. Because he's like, you ain't supposed to be on the stage. All the niggas on the stage. It ain't your time. You're telling me the truth. I'm trying to get attention. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn it, man. Nah, that's love. That's love. How you how you feel about them the way they was treating him on the, uh, the, the plane the other day? Yeah, he's trying to put it down. They trying to uh, kick it when they try to make him get out of first class. Who? The Juvie. Juvie. They say you treat him like he ain't no celebrity. Oh, that what he said? That's what he, yes, said. That's what he said. Bruh. My big brother is hilarious and don't fuck with him. <laughs> and whatever he fussing about, he fussing about. I ain't about to fuck with that. If yeah. he want first class, he deserve that first class. Give him that shit. Yeah, man, come on. It's a fucking movie. legend. Yeah. He's so 50, what, 50 million records? Yeah, they try to put him in the back with and, regularly. And that's what I don't like. Because you knew rappers, y'all come and y'all be trying to, y'all be trying to down Juvie and Wayne, but they paved the way. You can't take it away from them. Bitch, what music you got? Back that ass up still spinning. Half of you niggas, we don't even know about y'all. He's still gigging. You hear me? So I just don't like people to, me and Restyle like that. We just don't like fake shit. Man, I know if for us, he made like, us put this on shit this. shit fake. More like that phone ass shit. And then we call you out on I'm a Virgo. Oh, yeah. Oh, you already know. Oh, shit. We oh, cannot shit. be fake. Yo, shit. No, bitch, you stink. <laughs> Straight up. Yo, shit. No, nigga, your dick small. Oh, no, I ain't feel it. God. Straight up. No, I ain't come. God damn it. 
Virgos. Look at our face. <laughs> Virgos. Shit. Shit. No. I'm Wait. Come um, on. Uh, Juvie, who has the best relationship you feel? Because I think Juvie and Manny Fresh did a tiny desk. Yeah. And that was very dope. Like, the yeah. world loved to see that. Yeah. Like, but but I, I want y'all to know something that remember Baby Ass might be all that, like, even the BG party. He just mm. not telling y'all. Oh, wow. So he has hands and all that. Of course. C toy him, we to get all up. Do you think he has hands in Terrence Gangster coming on the blue couch? Oh, uh, mmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's my nigga. <laughs> Shout out Gangster. That's my nigga. <laughs> and and that nigga he- helped up for me. They had a nigga go on the internet and yuck my ugly bitch, talking about I'm washed up, I need to give it up. But I'm still gigging. I be driving these people. <laughs> You said, I'm still work. I'm working off of songs I did when I was a teenager with Cash Money. Even the one with Untouchable. Yeah. And even with Soko. All those songs still fuck them all the hoes. If you don't like a hoe, say fuck a hoe. Y'all heard that before. Oh. That shit was all the way in Miami. Kaya did one, I did one. Mia did one. Mm-hmm. I made so much money off that fucking song. I remember we was in a club, Juvie said, they playing your song. They just come put the face with the person. That's how it goes sometimes. Yeah, and then I was with the wrong label with it anyway. Yeah. So, but we asked KL for his permission. I have a relationship with KL too. too. So KL, we uh, it was a guy named uh, from Full Pack named Don, and he was like, "We want to, uh, we want T to do uh, fuck them other hoes." So uh, they gave them the clearance to redo the beat, and my shit got that roars everywhere. Shows Monday, Tuesday, when what? Come on, now. Shreveport, like. No, it's, it's, it seems like a, the bounce is coming back. What are your thoughts on the bounce music coming back? Oh like? yeah, it's like it's like it's it's like rebranding, but it's like these celebrities taking our shit and uh-huh. not giving us the credit. I hate it. What, what, what celebrity are you talking about? What, what, oh no, you had mentioned Beyonce had. I did. What, what's... Okay, all right. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. Come on now, don't even look. Look all at right, me. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> no, my dog. That's my partner. <laughs> She gonna tell me no, oh yeah. You see how she told me no about the other question, I had to flip it. Yeah, you know, yeah. I still was fucking up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. All right, I be feeling like they gonna, they gonna hate me. They gonna drag for me. I know y'all gonna I'll fuck tell you with me. tell you the truth, man. Fuck y'all. I be feeling like Beyonce come and steal our culture and don't give us credit. Beyonce done did more than one bounce song. <clears throat> You heard me, church girls, you heard me, all that. And in my stupid city. Get excited? Yeah, they get excited and they be doing that shit for free. Did you think that only after seeing Coachella or after Coachella? Or you always Before, thought that? I always thought that she was she stole from mm. us. But Coachella, when you see Coachella the- really, really did when she had the horns. Yeah, I remember. And, uh, the whole look was. New Orleans. New Orleans. And they keep bringing it up saying her mama was Louisiana. That ain't New Orleans, bitch. <laughs> ben Rouge ain't New Orleans, bitch. New Orleans is New Orleans. Y'all stop claiming us. We New Orleans. Y'all don't want to be from the ghetto, right? Mm. Louisiana got nothing to do with New- That's a state. <laughs> we a city. <laughs> Just because your mama from that whole... Yeah, yeah. Come on. Yeah. But... I do like her. I do think she's talented. I just do think that if you're going to steal something from the culture, do everybody. Don't just do Big Frida. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Just take a little more. Take a little more. Let me ask real quick. We're going to go back to this Super Bowl. Do you feel if they would announce, what would you be more upset with if they would announce Kendrick or Boosie for the Super Bowl? Why would you ask me? Because Boosie would have never got on there. He don't got an extended catalog. To what? He's what? not Wayne. You. I know. Man, I'm saying which one you. He's not more? even Kendrick. No. If they would have said Boosie I or Kendrick. <laughs> All right. So let's do it like Wayne this. from New Orleans. Yeah. So let's do it like this because Wayne to me was a shoe in for the Super Bowl. I heard Drake was, and he turned it down twice. And I heard that's why they made. So yeah, you're trying they, to stick it to you him. Said, you said it could be politics. Do you feel this music? I think it's politics with Jay Z. Probably. Picking the Super Bowl artist. Yeah. Do you think it's about Drake or about Wayne? Both. Damn. Nikki too. Nikki? Yeah, about Nikki? He wanted them at one point. He was trying to use Wayne to get them. Well, so well, maybe, I bet you Wayne know now. Yeah, I bet, I bet he know now. So what would you say if Kendrick brought out Wayne? 
That it would be dope, okay. but I don't think so because of the beef with the mm. Drake thing. I don't think so. If it, it's anything possible, though. Anything possible, because if I was Wayne, I'd bring out Drake. I mean, just, just, thank you for, we don't have a special and special then, guest. And then the, the city, what they're going to be, I mean, like, the people, what they're going to be, hey, he had to bring that. <laughs> nah, we ain't going to get his time. You know what I want Wayne to do? Go ahead. Throw a concert in Baton Rouge, the hot boy something in January, something else after the, uh. Right after. And lure our people to Baton Rouge and get some of their people. In fact. I hope they throw a big, I hope they throw a big concert, Master P and Cash Money. Facts. I feel like they should do it during the halftime. Yeah. Like, hey, shit. I mean, <laughs> during the set, my set's gonna come on and I'm gonna compete with the Super Bowl. Louisiana, be, that'd be fucking crazy. Yeah. That, I, I bet and, you and the NFL will take notice. Yeah, the NFL will take notice. Like, this nigga didn't. And that's what you, and that's what you, you can't fight them and, and I be dealing with it. You can't fight them talking. Yeah. You, you gotta can't. fight, you gotta strategize yeah. differently. There you go. I strategize with niggas different. They be thinking they playing me, but I already got it all up in my head what I'm gonna do with you. Oh, man. I got you. I, I'm gonna get you. I ain't gonna tell you that though, but I'm gonna know how I'm gonna know how to maneuver. The, the world is a game. The world is a game. The world is a game. You just gotta know how to play that motherfucker. You gotta play it. Um, and then you can't put your personal feelings in it. I'll do that a lot. I'm trying to work on that. Fuck. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, let me ask you real quick on just on female artists in general. Uh, when Nicki Minaj came in uh to the young money situation, um, what are your thoughts as far as, you know, like even, like you said, you met Remy Ma. What are your thoughts on females getting respect in the game now? You look at what Megan Thee Stallion's doing. You look at Glorilla, Cardi. You look at all these females. What are your thoughts on females? I ain't no game? Megan fan. What, what? What? I don't like Megan. You mean after the shooting or before like the shooting? Uh, it don't even got nothing. To do. I'm not that type of woman. I don't, I don't want to fuck all them niggas. I ain't no Heidi. I don't want to sleep with them and sleep with this and say, they ain't me. Yeah. And they need to display that. They need the other female rappers. Yeah. Different, diverse, like we had when I was coming up. Yeah. I saw Queen Latifah. Yeah. I saw uh, Moni Love. I saw Son and Pepper. It was diverse. But now everybody won't be a slut in the hole. So it ain't cool to be Obama, bitch. Yeah. I mean, me, Michelle Obama. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't think it's about being a slut in the hole, but it's like. You still ain't gonna make me like her. I don't no, like I'm not music. trying to make you like her. No, right. I'm talking about just in females, period. Like, it's hard to see a female come off being aggressive and take to that. And like, we wanna support that. Just as a culture. No, I'm just talking about like, like for instance, when Gorilla came out, everybody supported that. I liked the Gorilla when she was a, a tomboy. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. Right. Yeah. Who got in that ear to do the same shit they doing? No, I'm like, I ain't yeah. listening to that. <laughs> they got her dressing sexy. Like, but, why we can't have different type of girls? And Men like different type. Men like voluptuous. Men like thick. Nigga like skinny. Nigga like, men like medium. It's a variety in the world. But we only been painting one picture right now in female rap. And so, that's why I come in at with my girls. They're going to be, they're going to. I, I met her at Essence. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, she dope. Right. I always felt she was dope. I just don't feel like they give her a credit. Yeah. And the reason why they don't, because she not dressing like them. She had her ass out, they'll give her a look. So what more you got to talk about than your ass? Because when me, with a, I, had talk, I had topics like niggas be creeping. I had talking about stuff. It's tough. It's tough. You got to be strong. Keep your head up because life goes on. But I'm talking about me, a female, having a baby at 15. That's the type of stuff that people can relate to. And it's like with the bounce girls. The reason why I wouldn't sign a lot of them because it's all about dick. Dick ain't a prize to me, bitch. It might be a prize to you. And when you get older, you gotta know you gotta love yourself. You heard me? If you get the dick or not, like, don't be happy over dick. Be happy on, on, on yourself. Like, I don't get it. That dick, who did that dick? We sharing that dick. Monkey on. Bitch, I ain't sharing no dick. They got too much shit out here. Yeah, too much shit out of here. Out of here. <laughs> yeah, I don't talk about that shit. Um, yeah, no. Wait, why, why? What it was? Nah, some nigga said, you know, he's like, man, you, you know, he put a girl number out there saying, man, your girl, this girl sucking on my, my 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 meat down here. Look how fucked up it is, and the Wait, shit. Who said that? It's just fucked up. Trust me, it's, uh, Twitter. It's fucked up. <laughs> it's fucked up. But no, with that being said, but you um, know what? You know what I want to. Why the guys are always talking about girls got holes and they holes and you got too many body but that bodies, but that be the first ones they go fuck and make their wives. That is true. Fucking men contradicting, bro. 
That is, that is true. Um, so for that, with that being Why said, are you talking about a girl got bodies and you niggas don't even like going to the motherfucking doctor to get your soul checked? Halfway there, straight these highway dudes, to hell. These dudes need self evaluation. Mental. You health. want a ten, and you look like a two. Damn. Damn. You, can't you don't like plus size girls, but you got titties. What? Well, y'all make us come with that money, so y'all make it seem like no, it's all about that. Paper. Some, huh? not all. Some. Little girls do that, mm. not grown women, because mm. we don't need your money. Ooh. We make our own money. Oh, man. Okay. But y'all won't go to the little girls. I like that authority. Y'all like the little girls. Because you know what y'all do us? Or oh, they wash up. They too old. Oh, she farted. Bitch, you should get with a more experienced woman so she can teach her the game. You see, the one, women got them both the best game. You think Puff Daddy would be doing better if he got out with an older woman versus uh, a nah. single girl? Nah. You don't think I, don't even, I always check? thought that Puff Daddy was homosexual. Always, Damn. I used to always hear the stories back in the gap. Oh, you used to, oh, you used to hear the stories <laughs> back then. I met Babs. Oh yeah, Babs, Chopper City. Ex Babs by Missy, Chopper City from my city. I know him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, damn. Okay, uh, what story you hear <laughs> about who? About what? What did you hear? Uh, aggressive sex part. I've been him all day. Damn, men. But then he was he was showing you, hey daddy, ooh, you did your thing, daddy. <laughs> man, that's sassy, yeah. bro. He was showing you. <laughs> he was I don't showing. want no sassy ass man. You heard me? He was showing. But to each his own, because if that's what you want, cool. But let people know. So, cause girls like nowadays they fucking with niggas, they fuck with niggas. It's, it's, the generation has changed. Like my generation, when we wasn't doing that. They doing that now. They fucking niggas that's fucking niggas. They having babies for niggas and having families with niggas they know that's gay. We are definitely in the twilight. Oh, it's all over. Especially yeah. all in Atlanta. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. God damn. Oh, we definitely in the twilight zone. Yeah. Um, with that being said, I, I want to do something real quick because I, oh, I know you're uh, promoting. Uh, again, and shout out. I want to shout him out because he didn't came on the couch twice and blessed us, which is East Solid. Uh, East Solid, of course, 9,125 days in Angola. Oh, yeah. Uh, he, of course, uh, came out the city. Uh, we're giving him a soundtrack. We talked about that a couple oh, of months shit. ago. Okay, okay. So we're going to do a soundtrack for his uh Well, let's, right, let, let's bring him in. Let's, uh, I want him to come sit down. I want to be able to talk about on, uh, the documentary <laughs> because, again, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit that button, hit that button right there. E, if you don't mind, he is in the building. Testing, testing one, two, one. What's that? <laughs> Hey, baby. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Um, Y'all know from New Orleans, they be swagged out. Look. They be so Come on now. Come on now. Coming in. Don't play with them. Drip so. Um, how, how, did, how did this link up happen? How did y'all How did y'all get in touch with each other? Well, first, we got to we gotta give a big shout out to Restyle and Dirk. You heard me? And Dirk. You heard me? And you ain't gonna play with And the thing that I respect so much about Restyle because she in New Orleans doing her thing, right? Um, you know, she she doing her thing. Do showcases. To, showcase, she's also a part of she likes CEO with me with my label. Yeah. yeah. So we together and all my ideas and concepts, I do come up with stuff too. But when she run other stuff, we should do it like this, we should do it. And it be making more sense. I have a creeping challenge. Go, not to you. <laughs> no, 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 no. Go ahead. No, I, let you, I like your energy. I have a, go, bro, I have my bro. song, them niggas be creeping. Yeah. I'm on the hook, and I got all the young girls doing a verse on it. They own verse, so that means they got their own versions. And by me owning my masters, you could. Hey, I could put eight versions out of there. You go, yeah, you right? run, yeah, you run the play. Every artist can't say that. Yeah, yeah, they own masters. You heard me? Okay. Yeah. See, I thought you had a different kind of creeping challenge. I thought you actually having to go out there creep. Nah, we want. We about to do the creeping video, and I wanted to do the cheetahs thing in there. I yeah. think that's gonna be dope. Now for E, he has a documentary that he is, of course, uh, gonna be pushing out in. Uh, you know, soundtrack only tell a story even more, you know, and, and deadly. Um, with that being said, um, the documentary that he wants to put out in the soundtrack, the music you want to put behind it, um, what are your thoughts, T, um, as far as We're going to take his story and just talk about things that he have been through. And we, you know, we just, we, we're going to paint a movie. And Eve, with, you know. It's going to make sense not knowing somebody's story and just doing a document, I mean, doing a uh, compilation or whatever and just mm -hmm. do anything. I don't do that. Right, he, you and, know, and he been in prison for a long time. You know, he from New Orleans. He didn't did 
the boy. Correct, correct. Can you, you know tell a, a little bit about the documentary yourself as far as even having her get involved with it as far as some of the music on it and stuff? Yeah, well, um, what we what we want to do is we want to do something that's original that haven't been done before. Um, and with this particular project, with this documentary, it's, uh, it's not just about the money or the fame. It's also about telling a real story. And taking accountability. And taking accountability and letting the youth know not to go down that particular road. You know what I'm saying? Letting the youth know the real about the street shit, this life that we thought that was glor to be glorified. And then eventually in the end, when you get older, you find out it was full of bullshit. Cause they you know always, that's like strippers. They always glamify like it's glorified and then the most can't pay their rent. Mm. You don't, you know, you don't know about that. They don't have a car. Oh, they don't, oh, they don't, they don't, they don't have a car. Oh, they yeah. don't. All the niggas yeah. got bricks and yeah. they really don't. And it's their own boy shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's taking 10 um, niggas to buy one brick. But look, yeah, so. You so, ain't balling. So look, so. The it, Colombians, it was, they just do it. Look, yeah. so it's. um. If the Colombians is one of the motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, you make me laugh. Try to be serious. You're All right, right. go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. But look, <laughs> but, look but it's a, it's definitely an honor, you heard me, to be, you know what I'm saying, connected to the legendary Miss T because. When I was coming up in New Orleans, you couldn't go nowhere without hearing Miss T bumping through your motherfucking speakers. You heard me? I'll be lying if I said that. Oh, I don't know. Like, come on, bro. Like, yeah. when you come from New Orleans and the surrounding areas, man, you gonna know who this is. You know right. what I'm saying? So, um, I just got nothing but love and respect for you. Oh you man, you know thank you. Real there you talk, go. You know what I'm saying? And it's an honor to be working with you. You're right. You know, real talk. I'm just so glad that we, you know, we partnered up because I feel that story need to be told. Yeah. You know, cause everybody, you know, and especially like in music, I be thinking sometimes the guys need to change it up and be honest. Like be honest, look, I've been through this and that this what happened. They don't do that. I shot my home on me. Shit's get horrible. Yeah, they yeah. glorify they glorify asinine shit. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, what we gonna try to do is um, start glorifying what being a man is. I want to yeah, I what I've been through, but this where I'm at now. Our word, being yeah, solid, keeping your word with your with your partners and shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, being solid. When when Restyle reached out to me, the thing that I respect about her so much, she didn't read all the shit she do in the city. She didn't reach out to me. For her, she reached out to me for her. That's real. For her friend. That's, That's some real. solid shit. Her so friends. I would, it would have been, it would have been um beneath me if I didn't extend that in the first three I called was you. Yeah, he you know what I'm love. saying? Nah, like, man, let's, right put, that, let's put this together. You and know thank what you. Nah, thank you for this. And this that's is why I don't mind sitting with him and we doing the shit right. Yeah. That, you know? There you go. Hey. So with that being said, E before I get up off, um, can you tell them as far as where to follow you? Uh, the documentary, as far as um, where they may be able to see to it, it together. No, no, no. <laughs> so this is your story. We're telling. Oh, so we yeah. just, I just wanted to make sure uh, we he let the fans in. know. Yeah, kind of what well, to y'all expect. Y'all can follow me at East Solid three sixty five on Instagram. Uh, Eric East Solid Brown on Facebook, and what three sixty five means is solid. 365 days, days in a year. year. That means bitch. every day. So put, some people say, man, put an East Solid official. But no, East Solid 365. To be solid, you got to be the same way consistently. When you get fucked over, you got to be solid. When you get ratted on, you got to stay solid. When you get thrown under the bus, you got to stay, stay solid. solid yeah. so, so the thing about being solid is, oh, we're going to take the brunt. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get, you know, the, the, the most of the mud on us. You heard me? But it's all about believing in the coming of the day. It's all about keeping your head up and never giving up and being who you say you are, stepping in your actions, you know what I'm saying? Be who you say you are. And so that's what East Solid 365 represent. So that's where y'all can follow me at um, and find out more about what we about to do with the documentary, with the soundtrack to it and everything. And uh, I appreciate everybody who's been rocking with me since I've been home, you know? Nah, much love, man. The couch, they love you, the fans love you. Uh, we got another one that we're going to drop on them, you know, so they're going to see that. Yeah. And we got more work to do, man. I definitely appreciate you, C.E., for yeah, real. I definitely appreciate y'all, brother. So I'm going to turn it back over to the legendary <laughs> Miss yeah. T. You heard me? Legendary. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. I, oh, I thought you about to give me that mic. What they pulling me with that mic? I'm back in the middle now. Yeah, you, 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 are, you are. Yeah, you already mic'd up. All right, T, real quick, uh, just to pivot, um, because you spoke on Rufus. Um, and oh, yeah. I want to speak on this journey that you've been on, even with meeting Cash Money. 
how many losses Ooh, have you seen? Lie. Have Girl, you had to endure? When make no your shorty die, it just cut me. Yeah. Because I felt like she didn't really get a chance to meet her full potential. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Even though baby still was taking care of her and, and you know looking out for her, I felt like you know I had bonded with her for us to do an album called Gutter Girls. Because at the time, we still making average money. But then we got my brother BG still making 10 stacks. And I was just trying to link with her so we could make more money. And so it happened she passed away. Wow. Yeah, that killed me. You know why it hurt me? Go ahead. Because she asked me, Twale, you could get me back here wow. at these apartments? You know the guilt I had? Wow. If I would have got her back here, she probably wouldn't have got killed. Damn. That fucked me up. Damn, the what I is. was fucked up. I, I really wanted her to make it. Like I started helping her with her makeup. We did a photo shoot or whatever because I always be I always been uh, business orientated. You know what I'm saying? But you know, sometimes people can have other things happen in their life that got nothing to do with you. You know. Right. So brief on the story, I'm uh, my neighbor knock on the door. She like, girl, you heard about somebody? They got shot up front. And I'm like, girl, you know, they probably brought that back here because, you know, uh, Georgetown was like, a, it, it was all right community. It was in the suburbs, but it was okay. Yeah. And um, they came back. They said it was like Magnolia Shorty. I'm like, what? Oh, man. Damn. They said, walk to the front. I see two bodies on the ground. I started crying. You heard me? I see all them crying. I see everybody from the Magnolia. Ooh. So it's true. Damn. Damn. Funny story though, okay. years after that, met this motherfucker the detective and was telling me about the bullets at the top. At, you mean, oh, oh wow. Okay. Let me ask you, uh, Soldier Slim. Did Man. You, did you ever get a chance to? Uh... I did a song with Soldier oh, yeah, Slim. Oh, yeah, my friend, yeah, what I want to talk about. And I told you I did my goddamn homework. Um, no, you didn't. You never, I missed that one. I missed that one. <laughs> Soldier, the loss of Soldier Slim. Um, Man. How was that for you on your uh, It was deep. Like, Soldier Slim was like a big part of New Orleans culture. He mean, BG, like, that was, a, it was like BG, him, and LOG. Yeah. Because they they had the like, gangster feel. Like, ain't nothing wrong with having different type of music. You can have gangster, you can have bounce. People think you just got to be one way on music. You hear me? So I liked all of it. Yeah. And I liked Soldier Slim because he was so raw. But I liked him independent. I ain't like him with no limit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean. See, when he lost with no limit, it was, I pay for it. Cause I want it. I want it. You feel like the music Slow was better. Slow motion with it. Slow yeah. motion. He gave that to Jew. He gave that to Jew. He gave. That's some real shit. Not get paid. Yeah. He gave. Man. And Juvie looked out for his family. There you go. So our whole community, even if we drag for each other or, or whatever, we always make it back to each other. Always Like New Orleans is really like a family. Uh -huh. Even you come down and we saying, hello, hey, baby, how you doing? Yeah. It's just the culture is just totally different. It ain't like New York. New York rude as a motherfucker. I was there. You speak to them, they just looking at you like, who this bitch is? <laughs> but New Orleans, we will adopt, we will adopt you and have you in our house. You like I told you about my grandma, that do uh, voodoo. Every time we come home, this motherfucker got a different person standing there. She taking care of. Oh, that's your cousin. That's some fucking body off the street. She didn't put it. Cousin in. long down the way. Yeah. <laughs> so New Orleans always been like that. We all know each other. If something happy, like. Oh, that's your boy. And that's around. It's, it's small, but we all know each other. Was there anybody you was cool with uh, in uh, No Limit? Who did? Fiend. You Fiend, that was your, the best relationship. My dog. Oh, God. Shout out Fiend for it. Fiend, like Fiend, so intelligent, and he just think different. He don't think like the average nigga. Yeah. He just different, just a different breed. And I like being around him, and I like learning from him. He teaches me a lot. Yeah, shout out Fiend, man. Nah, you he, know what I'm saying? And he helped me with a lot. And I'm just saying, like, mentally. Like, when I was telling y'all about yeah. the bipolar, he got a cousin like that. And he, one day he was just talking to me and just giving me steps. Yeah. And that's how I get my love for people. Because you took that time with me. And you know I was going through something and you helped me. And that's how I get love for people. Even like Reed. I go through, sometimes that bitch probably don't want to hear me rant. But she's still on that motherfucking phone. Mm. She listen. 
And then one day, I go to my uh, work release party. I see this red old sweet. I'm like, Ray. I didn't even know she was coming when she can't support me. She do the same thing with Dirt. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's like another artist that we working with. Yeah, that's me? real. So uh, I like real authentic people. I don't like that fake shit. Come on now. It's just, I ain't fake. It's just weird. It's, it's just my weird. wig fake. It's just, my nails it's, fake. No. <laughs> A piece of jewelry may be fake. And that's, real, fake. that's real for you saying it. <laughs> that's real for you saying it. I don't give a fuck about that. That's material shit. Come on now. Let I don't give a fuck about that. So, so, so let's go to that. You got white guys, right? Yeah. They got $30 fucking tennis shoes on, $75 pants, $20 shirt. They got a billion dollars in their bank account. Mm -hmm. But you got a black person got a $2,000 shirt, $500 shoes. He can't even fucking pay his bills. Why is that? I don't give a fuck about none of that. Mm. I'm not materialistic to the point where I got to have it. Bitch, if I don't got it, I don't want it. So you would respect the man with the $30 shoes on? Yeah, because he, he a hard the, worker. The, the, he going to do something. Because it all be smoking mirrors. What I told you earlier. Of course it's smoking mirrors. <laughs> of course. That's why they wear it. That's why they wear And I'm telling that's why you, Instagram fake is the biggest scam. Yeah, that's you why. You see that with the females. They put the filter on. <laughs> you thinking this bitch beautiful. You go by the whole house, she got buku marks in her face. Yeah. It's yeah. real. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I like, know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. People are fake on there, so they want you to believe that they got this and they got that because that's what they value in. But mm -hmm. bitch, I got a $30 jumpsuit. And I could be next to a bitch that had a $1,500 jumpsuit. $1, jumpsuit. And I still think I'm that bitch. Come on now. Yeah, you can't. So yeah, because she got that on. She, bitch, you ain't better than me. But I got $1,500 in my account. You can't even put gas in your car. And then you got a Hyundai. The fuck out of here. Damn. People are fake rich. I want to really be rich. Yeah. So none of that. When bitches be having, I, my favorite thing, coach. I got 24 coach first. Oh, uh, yeah. Me, me. I go yeah, to the me, well, I, I go to the, not the warehouse. I go to the. The outlet. outlet. Yeah, yeah, me and you rocking. I go there or I'll go to the coach store and, you know, and I, my bag will look good. I have my little $400 bag. Yeah. But that's what I can fool. You know what a bitch told me? Oh, why you don't get YSL and Gucci? I said, bitch, because I don't got that. I'm going to buy what I could afford. <laughs> For real. Bitch, you buy that $5,000 purse. I ain't buying that. You making Gucci rich. Correct. But you don't even want to put that in yourself and your family. But you feel like a piece of clothing going to make you something. I make me some bitch. Come on now. I'm that bitch. Come on now. So I, I just never was no phony. Ooh. I look crazy, but no phony. Come on now. Gotta keep it real. <laughs> I, I gotta ask you, you know, give me a real answer. Uh, who who whose production do you like better? Uh, Manny Fresh or Beast by the Pound? Manny. Okay, just making sure. All right. Oh, uh, cause I'm not about to say uh what they be saying <laughs> when they be doing it like red, green, pink, yeah. or copper. What they be saying, take the plea. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Manny, plead the fifth, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I like KL Beats, but I just ain't rest. I really didn't never like new, No Limit Music. I'm going to get banned for it, but I'm going to- Wow. Because I was cash money. Our shit was more original, I felt. I may be wrong. But I mean, I'm but just, even before coming on Cash Money- Nah, even, nah. I never liked No Limit. When I was with Cash Money, No Limit ain't even start. I was with Cash Money in 1993. Yo, yeah. No Limit right. started- Like five- it, it was like, like No Limit to me built the image of California and Baby and them built the image of New Orleans. I can feel that. Master P kind of went to California to kind of- Yeah, so he had that image and I just wasn't with it. But when you had high, it was different. You had high, back that ass up. You had Atlanta niggas trying to be the hot boys. Yeah. They changed the whole culture. They had people saying, prime, prime cold phones. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Come on, Frank, with the phones, baby, and put everybody on. They changed the whole culture, and then y'all want to try to fuck over Wayne like he ain't do nothing and talk about his catalog bigger than a lot of y'all that's talking. And Kendrick, I don't give a fuck. Knock like us, I don't like it. Mm. I don't like that song. Yeah, that's, 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 <laughs> All right, compared to Tenor Wayne's songs, compared to the mixtape, y'all got one song. And y'all think this bitch Jesus. I think he cool. You heard me. I think it's all right, though. What's your favorite Cash Money song of all time? 
Stuntin' like my daddy. Stuntin' like my daddy. Yeah. Uh, the young stunner. Stuntin' like my daddy. Yeah. Yeah. Even though I wasn't with them at that time, probably was talking about what they doing, hating on us. I like to do. <laughs> what we doing? <laughs> Getting money. Getting money. And the swag of it was like, ooh. I just like when Baby let Wayne do his own, like, when it wasn't like I'm trying to tell you who to be and he just let him do him, that's when that's when he emerged. How how was it to see the hot boys break up? Like Juvie. I ain't or, cry. Were you upset that the music no. wasn't gonna come out of there? I don't care about that. You was Juvie like, still was making money. All of them still was making money. I mean, too. I know they was gonna reunite again. Y'all take that shit serious. Them people are family. They're gonna curse each other on earth. They're gonna be right back on that stage while y'all bickering. But Turk went to jail. BG went to jail. Right. It's like, damn it. It's just after they broke up, you would thought, you would have thought. Wayne yeah, Wayne, yeah, Wayne went to jail. Yeah, For that gun charge, yeah. Yeah, like shit. Okay, but Everybody. let me ask you, um, when it comes to what Master P was doing over there with No Limit, um, what but I, I said this before on Insta, I don't care. I did yeah. say I, I'm not a, because Master P had a big birthday bash. And I like Master P. I like Master P business sense. Yeah. I just never was into the music. And fuck, he probably wasn't in the mind. Well, how was it when he He was brought, gangsta. I was bounce. You know how that go. Yeah. How was it when he brought Snoop Dogg to New Orleans? I don't know. I, I just thought that whole thing was phony. Damn. I always was scared. I never was no limit. Yeah, I, 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 shit, okay. I can't even, all I can tell you, oh, no, 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 no. I can't even go to their catalog. Okay, okay. I mean, he had like 50 no, artists. Say that. He had say, like 50 say, artists. Then say Fiend, one of your homes. Yeah, yeah, like 50 Man, Fiend. Fiend was not always with him. Oh, okay. I'm the baddest motherfucker alive. Yeah. I'm saying all the artists I know was cold, mm -hmm. when they got on no limit, their sound was totally different. When Slim left and paid for it, Slim was back. I ain't listening to none of that shit. Mystical, y'all ain't ready yet. Then he gets on um, No Limit and I guess- I, I, That was a business move too. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay. It's just be a lot of stuff that we don't know that happened. We, we just be thinking we know. It was kind of like a business move. But did the money start flowing through, like with, with cash money, No Limit, now start, money's coming in. Did the money start going to the hoods? Did you start seeing- well, I know P give back a lot, and I know Baby and them give back, so they always give back okay. to the okay. communities, you know? Okay, definitely. So for the fans at home, when it comes to Miss T, the legendary Miss T, um, what can they expect as of now? Because even with this interview, again, after it does a million views, what can they expect from Miss T? Yeah, yeah, what, what, yeah, what are they going to expect next? Oh, man, just um, my record company, Top Tier Entertainment. You're going to have more books. I'm like, I'm a, she could tell you, I write all these. Now, you, you, a movie should come out because the stories you're telling. Yeah, and, and picture when I did Essence. Uh, I did Essence, not this year. I did it that last year. As soon as I got off the stage, a lady was asking me about the cash money stories and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, the same way they did Roxanne, Roxanne. Yeah, and she did. was saying um, she wanted to shop me to Netflix, but it ain't never went through. Well, we yeah. going to keep that hope alive because this- Nah, this, I make it come to me. I ain't waiting on her. Okay. I'm going <laughs> to shoot my own sister real. Yeah, but I say, yeah, I, I want am, you to do your own thing. I am the female bird, man. I make shit happen. Come on now. I ain't waiting on nobody. That's why I be like, y'all be counting my pockets like I'm asking y'all to pay my motherfucking bills. I ask y'all for shit. And they still get paid. Y'all tripping. Y'all, if I'm broke or what, what it is to you, bitch? Mm. <laughs> He, he, people, oh, no, no. huh? No, she, she should throw it out there. She just threw it out there. What so, as far as next, the record label, the books, even seeing you and, you know, just seeing you making appearances, performances, coming back to Dallas uh, after we. Uh, I was in Dallas around this time last year, too. Oh, damn. Because okay. a girl booked me for, uh, she was like a, uh, what I said she was, y'all? Transvestite or something? Oh. Trans woman, trans woman. Y yeah. Yeah, don't say trans. Yeah. Transgender. Yeah. I, don't, yeah, I, don't know I, what I respect call. people. I don't, yeah. Transgender and uh, one of the letters. She uh booked me and everything, yes. and uh we did a thanks party. It was nice. Okay. Okay. And she bought messy seat. Y'all heard? Yeah. Yeah, we heard of messy seat. Yeah, yeah, we heard of messy seat. Yeah. yeah, she uh bought messy seat, and she bought somebody else that's popular. That Ch the trainer, the Charles the trainer, he be popping and stuff. Um, he got a big old booty like a girl. I forgot. His name. What's, oh shit! <laughs> he's like an he's like a yeah, yeah. personal trainer. Oh okay okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, classes and he, he, okay okay. Yeah, so he was uh he was at the event too. Okay, dope dope. So you are they could people could book you. 
Yeah. Um, can they book your artists? Are, are they performing yet? Or did, did you work? Yeah, they, can still, book, they can book my artists. You're still in artist development mode with them? Or? Yes. Okay. And, and that's why I wanted to start the company because uh, they don't do that no more. You know, they just they throw don't. the artists out there. You know, she can't dance. You know, she can't really sing. And I feel like they need to, they need to bring that back. What you say, Reed? Get Reed. Okay, let me get to that. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, so that's why I really wanted to get into the business because um, a lot of artists be needing help, but sometimes when you let a man do it, they just go straight to sex. You know what I'm saying? But I want to develop these Stevie girls. Jack. I want to teach them about copyrights. I want to teach them about BMI and ASCAP. I want to teach them all the things that I didn't know because I know this shit now. I want to teach them about mechanicals. I want to teach them they don't got to go sleep with no nigga. For you want to teach them about uh, mechanicals? Mechanicals like, is, uh, is, is different royalties you get, too. Like, if you do a song with somebody, you still could get mechanicals off of that. People oh, don't know that. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, that's news to me. It's a lot of money you can make in the, the music business, but a lot of people don't know everything that you can make because they don't dig into it. And you don't mind giving that game And to I don't mind giving that game to people that's under me and under contract. It's business. <laughs> that's right. Because a bitch, she not getting it. I tried that. You can't do that with people. Mm. They take your shit and run with it. Mm. But I'm going to teach my girls because I'm passionate about it and I don't want them to win. There you go. There you go. And I don't want the, to, them to be, you know, it's just the men, bro. That, that shit crazy in the industry. It is. It is. Man, it Every is. girl I talk to, the producer won't fuck with me. Bitch, don't fuck with him because as soon as you fuck with him, he's going to change. <sighs> Niggas act, they act until they get the pussy and you see that real... Agenda. Damn. Hold I mean, that that's, bitch. There's some love stories that worked. Yeah. Uh, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I guess when you get old and mature, but when you're younger, you maneuvering and you sometimes they think they gotta do those things. Yeah. And I wanna be the person to let them know that I didn't have to do that. If I fuck with a nigga, I fuck with a nigga because I fuck with a nigga. I ain't fuck with a nigga because he was giving me a beat. Or he was I fuck with you because I fuck I fuck with niggas. And I ain't too much fuck with celebrity niggas like that. Because they talk too much. And they be groupies too, you know that, huh? Oh, damn. Oh, after the show. Half of this industry is gay. Damn, damn. It's half, the, half the industry. Especially the men, they fucking to come up too. Damn. You don't think so? I this. Mean, hey. They getting hey. deals too. They like the bad bitches. <laughs> fuck. They is like the bad bitches. That's why we gonna stay right. In this area. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's getting bad out you here. You see Puffin saying, you heard them stories, Puffin saying, do that. You want to get a friend, you want to get this. They do that to girls. Oh, come on. The men right. too. Take that, take that. But some of the men want it. Damn. And act like they don't want it. Yeah. And I feel like if the black community could start accepting gay people and start making that shit like it's bad, a lot of these guys could come out and be themselves. Yeah, I think the uh, the government should like incentivize people who come out or something like, you know, hey, bro, we what? cut you a check or something or you get taxed right off or something. I don't know. No, give black people they fucking check first because we sure ain't yeah, get our yeah, 40s because yeah. <laughs> in the motherfucking music. Yeah, we, we need our reparations you first. You always want your gay people shit first. Yeah, we need our reparations first, God damn it. Don't, don't skip over us. But I love the gays. You know, talented, makeup, hair, slings. A lot of us women, we get that from them. And, and I told a gay person one time, I was like, I said, bro, why you keep messing with dudes that's, um, that's straight, that like, you know, why you keep messing with dudes, straight dudes? Oh, turning dudes out and shit like that. We didn't want to turn it out. They just, sometimes the gay guys just like to mess with straight dudes. They don't like messing with, and they yeah, call them yeah. trades. Oh. And you stupid females be saying that, and the trade is a boy that go, that we. Oh. And they don't know the trade, the trades, the trade. Like, bitch, you fucking a nigga that want a woman. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I and, know but that. I learned the trades from Big Frida. And me and Big Frida was like this, girl. Mm. So I used to know a lot of shit. Okay. You know I mean? But he he started making me respect, you know, because sometimes you'll say, and, and that's disrespectful. And he was like, fat, you don't got to say that. You can say it a different way. You know, and I like being around people that could teach me that because we be so ignorant. We thinking, because we keep... Like I told you that keeping it real shit, sometimes keeping it real could be fake. Cost you your bag. Cost you your family. Shut up. Mm. You're it's best just to be quiet. Yeah, yeah. It's best just <laughs> now, hold on, real quick. Brie was saying something. What were you saying? Uh, is, there something, is there something to promote? You... I have an album called Bounce Legend. 
Boss legend. Okay. Hold bounce. On. Bounce legend. <laughs> oh, bounce legend. Oh, that's come on. That's right in the pocket. And the reason why I did that, and I I got no features on it, because I want to show them how talented I am. It don't take me long to write music. When dudes come to me and they be like, I want you to, what I do you? What I did you, Frank? I said, I don't want you no beat. Let me come there. It's gonna be fresh. It's gonna come off my dome and I'm gonna have it right. I don't need to sit there and write like that. When I adopted this work after I got watching Lil Wayne. Yeah, yeah. Lil Wayne could go in the studio and do 12 songs in one day. I could do 12 songs in two days. You know, I gotta. Yeah, yeah, yeah but, but I'm just saying, but, like. Yeah, you seen him go in there and just. Yeah. And you not gonna make it doing one song taking it off, one song taking off, once. Why you in it? Yeah. All the grace that they made it, what you saw from them? What you saw from them? They live in the studio. What you saw? What? They live in the studio. No. Yeah. Consistency. Consistency. That's what yes. I was looking for. Yeah, they stayed in that But bonus. artists don't want to put in the work. And they think it should be given. You have to work. It's a business. You have to brand yourself. Even though if you get signed by a major artist, a major label, I mean, you still supposed to be able to market yourself. Still post your Instagram. You think, oh, because you with them, that's it? Yeah. Because if you don't sell no records, bitch, they're going to drop you. <laughs> it's numbers, and people think it's, or oh, is this, and it's like, if a bitch 600 pounds could find a way to market herself and she to reach a million, a record label going to sign her. You talking about Lizzo? What are you talking about? Nah, Lizzo ain't going to Oh, you just mean hypothetically? I'm just saying hypothetically. Okay. It's marketing. It's about what could sell. And don't uh, do that to Lizzo. I think that's yeah, I won't disrespectful because no, no. I'm a big girl. You're not a big girl. I'm a girl. sexy big girl. Though. Yeah, you're not. You, you, you nah, consider, I'm a little heavy. I they, like it. They would have said that back in the 80s. Now you just, you know, thick. Nah, I'm good. I yeah, ever said, yeah, they used yeah. to hate that back in the 90s. I don't like when people do Lizzo that. No, I love Lizzo, man. I just be, we just be joking with Lizzo. Yeah. I love South Park too. You know, you know her personally. Nah, he I still, like her music. He still got it, girl. <laughs> my, my I'm trying to help her for. He still got Lizzo. My daughter's like Lizzo. I, I like, I like Lizzo. I like her. You know what? I, you know what? I don't like though. She don't live in her truth. She's doing what everybody want her to do. Yeah, that's why I could get on. Body positivity. They got yeah. you doing that. White folks got you doing that. Yeah, that, it's hard yeah, to turn on that chick. She really won't. She really won't be gangster if you ask me. <laughs> Not for real. Fucking pop ass me. That girl don't want to do that. I feel that. I feel that. Think about it. Come on. Come on. But she done already created that market in the lane, and then it's hard to get out of it because you didn't sold your body to people about positive body positivity. So the first thing they're looking at is your weight. Mm. You should have just came in and been a, a singer like all the other big girls. Jasmine. Heard me. Come on. She ever, she ever, had, she ever had to talk about her weight? No, but... Okay, she was big. Jill. What led Jill? Talent. Yeah. yeah. People use gimmicks to make it. And now she's stuck with that. So, bitch, if you get skinny, you might not sell no more records. Damn because it. you went with that first. And they buck you up making that. That was dang positive, living unhealthy. Yeah, no, it happens. Fat Joe's a little slim and, now. And a, yeah, everybody gets slim. Yeah. I was 310 pounds at one point. I got down to 220. Health and I'm reason. trying to get the 180 back to my high school weight. Every woman seems to try to get back to high school weight. 16. Yeah, I mean, because it's the healthy, it's the health, like when I was 310, I couldn't walk. Oh. I couldn't exercise. I had high blood pressure. Um, and then I was about to start heading to the be diabetes. Yeah. So your health is important and having on having a lot of weight on you like that. And it, it's just that you leading the Mass is wrong and you know you ain't healthy. Healthy, You know you ain't happy with that. But if you was a confident big girl, I could fuck with that. Yeah. You not happy like that. Because you keep saying, if the small girl do that, come on. You ain't gonna compare it. You gonna sit in that bitch on me. Like I'm sitting there, yeah. bitch, hips, ass, I'm thick. That's what it is. Bitch, you gonna fuck with me, not fuck you. That's New Orleans. Mm. Don't worry about y'all. And what, bitch? It's social media kind of fucks it up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, they social, do. Social media kind of fucks it up. They do. They so do. for the album, uh, uh, Bounce Legend, um, how many tracks are you? 12. 12. 12. Is it... um? When, when... Y'all got to hear the song I got called My Bo Rockin' Body. Yeah, I want to hear the whole motherfucker. Let me say Rockin' Body. I was in my R. Kelly mm -hmm. mood. You heard me? Okay, okay. So okay. I, I, I did like a little flip. So the Miss T that you're here in the 90s, you ain't hearing that you had that grown old. Yeah, you hear yeah. Me? 
I just want to be the girl that's a nene. I'm running that bitch. Yeah, yeah. You hear me? Come on now. My body on your... Like, I don't know what's now, but... Come on. I ran that bitch like R. Kelly. And then I told her, I said, bitch, that last part, I stole R. Kelly. <laughs> it's called Rockin' Body, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I got, we got here. How can we hear the... Uh... Uh, you could go on um, Amazon. You could go on YouTube. Like, all the streaming platforms. Okay, yeah. Apple... Yeah. Spotify, and since baby uh, mentioned my name, my numbers went up on my album. Yeah, Thank there you go. <laughs> shout out, shout All out, right, baby. My numbers went up. Come on now. But I have, and, and I wanted to do something different, and I, I wanted to be the only one on the album because I wanted to show them bitches how talented I was. Because one thing about New Orleans, they start thinking you wash up and all that because they ain't hearing from me. Bitch, I'm still good. And my old music still sound better than the, the new old's coming out. Come on. You know what C Servon said? That was no limit? Yeah. He posts my song on Boss Legend called Still Standing. And it's about no matter what I went through, I'm still standing. I'm no matter if I get knocked down, I'm still standing, right? He said, Y'all keep letting her take it. Y'all young girls, I got, y'all keep letting her take it. Your boy from Big Bar Records, y'all, y'all, y'all remember him? That's that's the one that had uh mystical. Before yeah. Mystical went to No Limit. So he was like, when he was selling dude, he said, when you get a record, he said, make sure you get one with Miss T because she going to give you a radio hit. It's mm. a compliment. That's real. That's I real. just did Betty White. Shut up. After, R. I R. can't Betty do it White. now, but. Yeah, but we. After the pain, just ran that bitch. Ain't nobody going to let you lie. I, I can't do it, but I, I ran that bitch. Damn. And everybody they hear, they like, that bitch roll. But I flipped it, and I put the bounce on it. Yeah. So I'm doing, and I'm talking to Yeah, I know you laughing for those who heard pain. Cut in that bitch. Come on now. Any, uh, any videos? I know Beyonce I, said she what? did no videos for that country album because it took away from them. Man, I ain't Beyonce. I don't want you to talk about no Beyonce. We talk yeah, about I ain't talking about Beyonce. I'm just curious the mindset of vid doing videos. For this album. I haven't started yet, but I'm about to start. Okay, so videos because are Because we start with the Creepin' Cypher because we got like 12 girls that remade my song. And, and I won't take it and put each song out as a single for them because I'm the most popular one right now, so I want them to get known off of me. Hell yeah. And Creepin' was the biggest and popular song for me, that, for me in New Orleans. So I'm trying to give them a chance so they can kind of get heard. Okay. Cause I'm, t I'm, I ain't trying to do this for a long time. I'm trying to have businesses. Come on now. You hear me? So I, I, I don't mind sprinkling. Biggest and fact. people got to learn how to sprinkle. They think if I give you, I ain't going to get it. But the universal law, when you give, you get. So I don't mind sprinkling. And that's why I don't work, I don't work a job. I book shows. I'm really an artist. And I, and I feel like it's like that because of the energy I put out. You know what I'm saying? I love these girls. I'm not about to let nobody fuck over them. I'm like Come a mama bill. Come on. And I'ma teach them and I'ma show them. Nobody did that with me when I was a teenager. That's what's missing in the game. And what what an entrepreneur do an entrepreneur do in the game? What they look for? Something that nobody else have. You know what I'm saying? Biggest facts. Let me tell you an idea, because I ain't gonna do it, but let me tell you an idea that I was thinking. Yeah, no, yeah. Say it on here. I so had a little dress that I was wearing, right? And if I'm inside, I don't have nobody to help me zip or to dress up, right? Right. So I was thinking about an invention where I could have something, you put it on a thing and zipping your dress up. You smart don't need no as help. Fuck, yeah. I'm smart. Yeah, now we timestamp that. And can nobody take this? We going, what's today's date? Uh, the year of our Lord. Uh, yeah, I'm very September smart. September 15th. Uh, the day the Saints beat the Cowboys. Yeah. Oh, the day the Saints beat the Cowboys. Oh, he made the Saints, though. The day the 44 to 19. That's, yeah, yeah, we, that's a, the apocalypse, ain't it? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> so therefore, if anybody takes that idea after this day, that's Who a great idea. That's, that's, that's a great idea. That's a great idea, because I'm tired of and helping my I girls. Also, for shit. But somebody got this one. But this one I thought about is uh, uh, makeup and uh, lashes and stuff like that. Like when girls are like, Oh, girl, I lost my leg. Like you call a lash or the makeup, you want your makeup done, but it's an automobile type. We come to you and you, you know, but yeah. it'll be a lot with that. But I, it was just a thought. Man, you are a breath I'm of a fresh air, genius. man. Yeah, you're a genius, man. And I'm a breath of fresh air. And when they hear my music national, they're going to say that too. I don't sound like nobody. They compare me to Mary J, but um, I think we different. 
Yeah. And I, I'm inspired by Mary J, Shaka Khan, Shaka Khan, Anita Baker. Now you bring the New Orleans. Yeah, and yeah, but that was all the people that I I, I looked up to to bring the New Orleans style. I can't sound like them. So I got to bring my own swag. Do they song with swag in my way? I ain't going to sound like them. I like the way I sound. Come on then. I ain't trying to be Mary. I love Mary. Yeah, let Mary but be I, Mary. But I like the inspiration I get from Miss Mary. T, I like Miss the T. inspiration I get from Anita. I like the inspiration I get from Shaka Khan. We can go all the way back. We're bird of flag. Oh, man. I'm all into jazz. Like, people don't know my musical back. Like, I went to Dillard University. I took opera classes. I have a song I'm in the background singing opera. Wow. But in the tone, the deep tone, I can't do a high deep tone. There's so many things that I could do with my voice. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, breath of fresh air. Yeah, I, 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 and I wanted to invest in myself. Like right now, I'm gonna do piano classes. Definitely. Because I feel like when I'm 50 years old, bitch, I'm gonna be sitting at that bench like a leash key. Yeah. <laughs> Shane the motherfucking love songs. That's real. Nah, that's the way to and get it. Also, y'all, my image changing. My I changed my my change my name was Miss T and I changed it to the legend legendary Miss T because I wanted to move into a mature era and start talking more about love. There you go. And I didn't want to keep talking about dog and dudes and shit like that with me as a teenager. Yeah. I'm grown. And I feel like uh to call love in your life. I feel like uh, you got to put it out there. And that's another way you can manifest by putting it in your music. There you go. No, that's Because music are seeds too. Yeah. You know how you're, you listen to somebody say, kill, 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 kill. Then that shit be in your head. Oh, yeah, nah. Eminem said the best. Uh, music can alter moves and talk to you. But if you say love, I am lifting me my fun. Nothing. You could draw that to you, but people don't think that. They think speaking negative going to bring them their mate. That's going to hold it up. You have to speak positive to bring your mate in. And you have to write it down. When you write things down, it's it coming to fruition. Affirmation, yeah. Yeah. Hey. Vision boards. I wrote me writing books down way before I started writing them. But that was the vision board that I had. You got to have a vision of your life. And, and that's why I always do. I put my friends on vision boards. I put my daughter on a vision board. My daughter had LSU on her vision board. She had a Jeep she wanted. And she had some other things. She graduated from LSU. She got a G. <laughs> and then it was a way uh, she took that motherfucking college test. Buku Times Cafe, you know, the little tape, whatever the test is for you to get the full year. Yeah. That motherfucker fell that bitch about 10 times. And, still, and guess what? Kept going. That's so right. I said, motherfucker, you better go on you, don't you? I said, you ain't gonna have to pay. And passed it. And passed it. It ain't and how she... many times you fell. You got to keep Pick trying. You got to keep going. And people give up. People give up when they see the first thing not working. How could you ever see the growth when you stop? That's real. What if I were to stop? You wouldn't be talking to me now. I have one album to talk about. I got six. There you go. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. I'm still working. And ask me how many songs I got that I recorded since October. Uh, how many songs you did? 70. Damn. Yeah, you working. Yeah. Yeah, you working. She could tell you. Oh, yeah, you she working. She said, bitch, you the hardest worker. And the girls, I judge them on who come to the studio. And if you got all excuses, I'm gonna put you to back burn, the back burn. I'm not gonna put it in you. Yeah. My daughter work a job. My daughter take meetings and everything. Still can't in that studio. You gotta be hungry. Hey, yo, princess, she don't got a car right now. A car broke. Still make it to the studio. You gotta be hungry. And they don't think that people watching that. They think they're gonna get by. Bitch, you ain't getting by by me, cause bitch, I ain't get by. Mm -hmm. You heard me? So you gonna play yourself. Nice. I let everybody play this out, the um, fall off or whatever. Nice. Ayo and Quee, uh, I got G-Stacks, I got, uh, I forgot somebody. Ballhead, who else? <laughs> Ooh, you know when we left somebody off the picture, how they felt? Where my picture at? I had to take yeah, the right, right. and go put their picture on there. Ballhead, G-Stacks, Quee, Ayo, Pretty P. Pretty P. Pretty P and Fatal. Man, God, man, they, they, we gonna remember. We gonna, we gonna we gonna put we gonna put them in the comments. We gonna put them in the comments. Man, uh, the legendary Miss T. With that being said, man, uh, man, I, I'm, I'm, we're so excited to even just have you here giving us these stories. I think there's so I much. I told you, me, huh? Oh, what the fuck I support? I'm a businesswoman. Yeah, it feels like- I was uh, about to sit there and be fake with you. Yeah, nah, this is this shit might be too real. 
Shit. I know it's, we might have to cut some shit out. Yeah, we gonna tell be, you what the cut out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This shit might be too real. But with that being said, hopefully this is one of many. Uh, this is those times where we feel like you know we've unlocked a new one. To where when you come on this couch and you pop your stuff the way you did, yeah, yeah we got to most likely kind of have you come back and like of course. go deeper. Of and if course. anybody's at home and want to Google you, um, what should they pull up? What should they pull up? Your music first? Uh, um, they could do legendarymisty.com. I have that. They could go to Instagram, the Legendary Uh Also, I'm missing some. TikTok, Legendary Miss T. And the reason why I wanted to change it yeah, to YouTube. Legendary Miss T because... Uh, it was it was just something simple. It wasn't serious. It was just that the distributors wanted the name <laughs> oh, gee, gee, gee. to match with the <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. You got to come on now with yeah. the album cover because I was still I was putting legendary. I was putting I was putting I redid all the old album covers. Yeah, and I put legendary me seeing it like hold up. You said this was this. Yeah, you got to match. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's, that's why smart. that's, that's why I changed it. Um, but I, I changed my name. I wanted to uh, like rebrand myself. Yeah, I feel like this interview was just kind of introducing you. You have so much knowledge as far as in the business. Yeah. You have stories as far as New Orleans go. Okay. We, we go to the streets. I feel like there's so many layers we can unpack, but Boy, I think this I is a great introduction to the to you, to this blue couch, to the light wall, to street stars. And um, we have I'm to say it. Uh, if they're not following you now. They're uh, going to follow me now. They're going to follow you now. Man, let me tell you, I'm so proud of y'all. Thank you. Bro, when I see Jack, boy, I watch Jack. <laughs> the Jack. <laughs> she be she be giving it she be giving it she say it's it's all entertainment at the end of the I day I love it it's all entertainment at the end of the day and then she take her fucking shoes off <laughs> and get them on that she get comfortable that's when you know she about to give it that's when you know she about to give but it but she real yeah, see and that, you can't you got it's you hard gotta, to find real yeah it's hard to find that man yeah a lot of people try to put on man and I, and I get it or uh, a lot of people put on when you when you been through the things especially as women when you been through the things y'all been through it's hard. It's not like when I told you earlier, being through an abusive relationship. Yeah. As a te- I was a teenager. I was like 15, 16. To My baby that. daddy was 17, but it was just, he was beating me. It was a lot of stuff that I was going through. Yeah. And then I was dealing with a, a cocaine. He was uh-huh. on drugs. Like New Orleans drug culture, when it came to guys, they really was on drugs. Like for, that was real shit. Yeah. Heroin at 15, shooting up. Them dudes really was living that life. Man. And every time he snorted coke, it was a fight or he beating me. Oh, one time he had coke like this. You could smell that shit. Oh, bitch. Oh, you, you think them niggas want you? Oh, bitch, you, you, you acting just like that nigga, baby. Slap me in my motherfucking face. <clears throat> oh, but I ain't no punk. Let me tell you what happened. <laughs> what, what you grab? I could talk. Look, <laughs> my brother, they were, we was fighting over something, and my brother stepped in and beat him up. And that's when I knew he couldn't fight. So the next time he hit me, I had that knife. Oh, shit, Jason. But let me tell you, let me tell you. But he's okay, right? I mean, no, he good. He good. Okay, I'm about to say, whoa, it was a slash, but let me tell you how toxic this shit is. You wouldn't even come with me to the hospital. <laughs> that's toxic. That's toxic. That's toxic. God damn. <laughs> Damn. All right, T. Well, hey, Miss, the legendary Miss T. We, again, we go. We gotta have you back because there's more stories to tell. Uh, we're gonna go through there, but for now, uh, go follow. Um, we have legendary to say legendary Miss T at Instagram, the legendary Miss T website, legendarymisstea.com. Two books. I forgot to say another books. one. And the titles of those. Uh, the first one is um is about my life story. I talk about the cash money story. I talk about being depressed. I talk about fake friends. I talk about activating your crazy. I talk about loving yourself. That's strong. I am strong and wise now on Amazon. And the next book I got is uh, Affirmation and Inspiration for the Souls. So it's like affirmations and stuff that I have taught myself. And so like when I told you, I know how to deal with the bipolar now. Yeah. I got to be more tuned with more positive things and negative things trigger it. Ooh. And it make me impulsive. That's another trigger. I don't, mind, I don't mind talking about it because I'm going to get paid and be an activist of force. I don't mind. No, definitely. You got to be a driving but force it, behind it. But, but people got to talk about it, man, because they make mental illness a joke and it's a struggle for people. It's real. It is It real. is. It's a struggle for me sometimes. And sometimes I don't want to fuck with nobody. Everyone Sometimes I don't want, I want to isolate, my, isolate myself and that shit ain't normal. Yeah, that's real. You know what I'm saying? Having yeah. racing thoughts, can't go to sleep and they make fun of you with that shit. 
So I'm going to tell you my truth, and I want I don't want you to be afraid. And if they do have medicine for you to take to make your look home, take that shit. Mm. Stop listening to people. Sometimes some people may cannot do it on their own. That's I was right. one of it. So I was like, you need your medicine. I have a friend. She have a, uh, we call her Dr. Ashley. She work at uh, the Behavior Health. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So she deal with that. So she know about me. And she was in front of the person when the person said that. She was like, she need her medicine. Damn. Damn. I will fuck you up. Come on now. Well, and I- fussy, impulsiveness. And I remember one time I texted a dude a hundred times in one day. Oh, you one of those? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck you. Oh yeah, nah, nah. That's yeah, nah. That was back There's then, a special boy. place. No, that was in, back then. Boy. <laughs> in, in hell for for a woman who texts a hundred times. God. But that's a part of the symptoms is uh when you don't take medicine is more impulsive. No, definitely. There's, like, it's real. Watch Kanye. We got the same shit. Manic. Keep posting. Keep doing shit. Keep spazzing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You don't even hear him no more. You probably be on medication. Would you donate your brain to science after? Fuck uh, no. Oh, okay. They don't need my yeah, brain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's conspiracy theory. Um, <laughs> with that Let being said, with that. now we go. Hey, we go. We gonna bring you back. I don't know. We are gonna do conspiracy theory. We are gonna do some street talk. We are gonna talk about uh, relations, mental health, business. We are gonna do a whole different series with you. So I gotta say it, uh, Miss T, the legendary Miss T. Thank you. Uh, goddamn, Bounce Legend is out. The books are out. You, you on really, the couch? Hold up, you really gonna listen to about? Because people, I know. Ain't gonna listen I'm actually gonna listen to it on the on the way in the car. Okay. I'm gonna listen to it right now, Rock and, and I give you real feedback. You gonna like Rock and Body? Okay, Rock and Body. Okay, R. Kelly. Gonna bring, Kelly I'm R. Kelly fan, so you already got my you already got my attention. Right. But with that being said, uh, we have to say it. You're on the couch. You are an alumni now. Finally, she did it. She's here. Oh yeah. On the blue couch. Give me my fucking strike. Well, I sign it. And you are. Hold on, no, wait, wait, wait. We don't. You sign the air. Just you know, it's on camera. There you go, Miss Motherfucker. Blue couch, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> yeah. And we gotta say the legendary Miss T. You are a real life street star, man. Hey. 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 Who they say they won't beat? Uh, who that? Who that? Oh, who that say they gonna beat them saints? We whoop y'all ass. Good job, good job, good job. <laughs>